Uh, microphone check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hold up, man. That's not loud enough for me. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. We need to drop no right quick. No drop. Uh, no worry, and my. And my favorite drop. This park. This park. This park. This park. Welcome to episode 221. Yes. 222. 222. We are moving fast out here. 22 twos. Oh. Mm. I, see, I see what you did. It's a good there. record. I was just listening to that, that's why. Fam, why can't we just not <laughs> no, I literally oh One time, and one God, time. Damn it. No, look, and the score is 22, so I was just thinking about that. That's that's really weird. Uh, I see Word. where you took me. Yeah, nah, I'm up, you know. I see what's going on. Yeah. Uh, welcome to episode 222 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I am your humble and gracious host, Joe Budden, here with a few great friends of mine. <laughs> Maul is here. Uh, damn, I had a nickname for Maul, but then I forgot it. It's good. I think it was Mallzilla or something like that. No, Mallzilla. No. Cool. Where, Mall. What's the origins of that nickname? Nah, Mall's cool. You don't think Mall looks like uh, Blogzilla a little bit? No, man. No. <laughs> look nothing like that, man. Oh, fuck it. I'll just be putting anything on Mall. Exactly. <laughs> Mall well, I'm glad you said that. I know, I do, I do, I do. I know. Uh, we need to go to one of Blogzilla's little movie date night shits he be doing. I would get the emails, and sometimes I'm like, shits might be all right. <laughs> no, he sent me the invite to all the trash movies. Not the good joints. Yeah, man. not at all. I didn't get the X-Men. No. <laughs> Private invite or some shit. Uh, Maul is here. Parks is here. Uh, Rory Harvey is here. Erickson is here. Yo, fam. And Savon, the do what the fuck I want to do is here. That's what the do. That's what the D is for now, Savon. <laughs> Savon, just do what the fuck you want to do. Um, shout out to all the listeners out there. Hope everybody had an amazing, amazing Valentine Day. Valentine's Day. Hold up. Meet the little fairy noise. Uh, Rory, what did you do? What did you do? Why are you touching me and playing that noise? <laughs> okay, what was your question? <laughs> now we can readdress each other. How, how was your Valentine's Day? I just got engaged. You think I was doing Valentine's Day? Yeah. <laughs> I you think got, you were wild for you engaging. You got some nerve. <laughs> engaging before Valentine's Day. No, that was smart. That was strategy. Oh, okay. So you just got pizza? Yeah, we chilled. <laughs> Tavon, what did you do on Valentine's Day? How many times did you check your ex's page? I did. <laughs> That's right. Not a once. Come on, come on, come on. Don't do that. Don't lie. Y'all niggas worship right. him. No, no, no. Here's the thing. How many times have you checked it today? I didn't check it at all. Okay. <laughs> all right. When is the last time you checked it? Um, Tuesday. Tuesday. All right, so it's been about a week. February 12th. Week, week, week anniversary. <laughs> he, was, he was checking to see if she was getting her nails and shit done. Like, yeah, yo. Had to get ready Valentine, for the date. Yeah, Valentine's what? Day two days away. What you was checking for? Is he like, what was good? That's true. That's true. You gotta. You, he, the, you have to check, check the temperature. temperature. He, go, he go catch a charge. <laughs> I know when niggas is like yeah. two weeks from catching the charge. Yeah. He go catch. Sometimes the charge. you just have to sit in the bushes and look what she's doing. <laughs> right. Park, Parks. How was your Valentine's uh, Day? My girl was sick, so it was. Oh, pretty, you lucked out. I yes. Did. <laughs> yes. Swag that did, out. Yeah. Yeah. Made some yeah. sancocho. Uh, beef soup, beef barley, actually. That's, beef barley. Yeah. <laughs> it was requested. Barley it was, was funny. requested. <laughs> Beef barley. Beef barley. <laughs> Yo, Parks is the greatest, man. Yeah, man. Nah, nah, no Sancocho, but beef barley. Yeah, that's what we did. Fam, what we watching, man? It's, it's Rockin' Jock. We watching uh, the game that you wasn't invited to. You right. I'll be I, here next year. How was your Valentine's Day? <laughs> I, I bodied it with the sickness as well. I'm sorry? Yeah. I was sick. So. Oh, you were sick. Uh, that's, 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 so sin, that's, I know Sin so made you, 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 you some Sancocho. <laughs> Damn, son. My nigga Joe can't get no Sancocho on the sick day. Damn. Had to seamless that. That's crazy. Damn. You had to Uber East the Sancocho? That shit was cold when it got there? Don't do that. Don't, don't. Oh, right. <laughs> Uber East it from the Heights. Yeah, from the Heights. Yo, everybody. <laughs> to my crib. It took yeah, an hour and a half to get right. the Everybody relax. Everybody relax. My baby took care of me, and I'm much better, and I'm here today. That's, that's all that alert. matters. That's all thank, that matters. Thank you. Thank you, Sin, for taking you care of uh, the A mic here. Theraflu. I, I made my little Joe, Joe Elixir. Mm. Uh-huh. Yo, Theraflu, I don't know what's in it, but thank you. Yeah, that shit works. That shit works. No, that man. shit works. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's start with, with Rory's generation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's get to it. What, what, first? what is that generation, year-wise? 90s babies, right? No, I would say late 80s nah. to 92. Nah. I would say 88 to 92. Nah, I'm giving you 90 to... Uh, no. Because I still went to school with people from like the late 80s. So, so did I, Parks. <laughs> well, I, I gave you this way. Yeah, you 20 you, right? you were 20. Yeah. You turned 21 in what year? Uh, 2011. 
And that is what I mean by Rory's generation. The the when you hit adulthood when Cole hit. Okay. Fair. Okay. Damn, Cole was our co- when we did the first pool party? <laughs> Shit. Was yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure there was plenty of 21 year olds at that pool party. Oh no, fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> plenty. Plenty. I was high. <laughs> <laughs> it was plenty of 21 year olds in there for sure. Uh, can we rewind? rewind? <laughs> 21 is legal. But let's rewind anyway. Why? I just want to rewind. No, man. No, We're losing our ass. Oh, We're losing We're it. Losing our edge. It's twenty one. Oh, it's it's nasty. Nasty. <laughs> twenty one is not party. nasty. It's a Damn. pool party. Well, our pool party was much iller than y'all making no, it. No, it, no, it definitely was. But I'm just saying there was a lot of twenty one walking around. But it was cool. Uh, I didn't know. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So, any, anyway, back to Rory and Cole and hip hop. <laughs> <And Cole, laughs> okay. Jesus. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yo, Maul is so tone deaf sometimes. What you mean? <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> what I do? That. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 21 is an okay That's age. what I mean. Uh, you hit adulthood in the, in the 2010 aughts. pool party time, somewhere aughts. around there. Mm-hmm. So, Well, t- let's not say people became adults at 21, but I see what you're saying. What are you saying? <laughs> that people did not become adults at 21. I mean, some people never become adults, Roy. That, no, that is true. A majority of people do not become adults oh, at 21. I love yeah. white on white there's, crime. There's Dad. like four of us here. <laughs> I'm just waiting Whenever y'all finish Arguing about it I don't even know What y'all arguing about <laughs> Go ahead Carry on So far gone 10th anniversary Yes I was 18 When that came out That's sick I was a freshman <laughs> In college <laughs> What? That's sick wow. That's crazy I don't know man it's crazy that it's crazy that I was born at that day. Yo, y'all old motherfuckers are insane. No, you like, yo, that's insane that you were born. No, you know what it is? Like, yo, fam, Mark, I but know. That is insane, no, 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 no. You know what it is? It's more it's, so, I think Joe's, in, that's insane is because that doesn't feel like that long ago. Exactly. But wait, yeah. I didn't even say it. Mark said I said it. it. Oh, oh, I thought, I thought Joe said it. In like 10 years, people so, are going to be, you guys, no, listen, in 10 ahead, years, people are going to be like, Yo, I was like 16 when Young Thug came out. And, and I'm like, never, that's no, crazy. I'm not going to say this. You, crazy. Are, you, you are, you are. No, I'm not. You, you are. are. Yes, you are. You yeah, are. you are. Because I'm saying Why that is now. that crazy that other people were born after you? It's, I don't no, know. But that's crazy. Like, wait, did you guys start the world? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like, not, not, you it's know there's not older that. people than you guys. No, no, it's not that. It's just the fact that you start to think of the years, how many years have gone by. Yeah. And you like, damn. It's your own vanity. Don't take it out on us. No, it's just that, it's just that for you to say you were 21. In no, 2011, I was no, oh, okay. in 2011, uh, I, I mean, to me, I know what I was doing in 2011. I'm like, damn, he was only 21? Was eight, but do you think about it's eight years ago? Like, he oh, yeah. He could have ran around the party. <laughs> I'm, sure I was doing, I'm sure I was doing wilder shit he than there. y'all pool party at 21. The pool party's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. That's a darker, deeper criminal link. <laughs> Trust me. You don't want no parts of that. 10th anniversary was so far gone. Yes. Right? Which Correct. I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. But I guess I'll start. I, let me let's before I get the jokes off. Let's start with why do y'all? I saw you tweet earlier, Rory, that uh, so far gone might fuck around and chart. And I saw a couple of other people tweet that. Why is that a shock? <laughs> no, I didn't say it was shocking. I said it's gonna be funny. I think it's gonna be funny. In ten years later, you see a mixtape chart above a new release. I just thought it was funny. I'm not oh. shocked by that at all. I see a lot of people though speaking about Drake it is Drake. as if it's shocking. <laughs> the Beatles no, are still no, no, chart no. I said Michael no. Jackson's my words still were very specific. It's going to be funny. Michael, it's not shocking. Michael Jackson sold more than everybody after he passed. Rest in peace. Yeah, but re-releasing a mixtape has never been done to this degree 10 years later. Yeah. And it true. outdo and rap is very specific. Outdo a new release. That's <laughs> well, that's no, funny. There's no new releases. So. I will say this, I listened to So Far Gone and Still, it's still a really. It good aged body really music. well. Yeah, yeah. it did. It aged really, really well. I, I clicked on the the preview, the preview previews of it, um, to see really? if it were remastered you or to the snippets, mm-hmm. just to see if anything was done differently. Because uh-huh. uh, I just purchased the Sade uh, collection remastered, and it actually sounds remastered. You know, they fool you with that shit. Oh yeah, yeah they, 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 they tell you that, and it's never actually done. It's like organic. They slap so, organic. The only shit. people I've ever heard actually really remaster was the Bad Boy collection when they put out like ev- the, everything yeah, they ever fact. did. That was remastered. That definitely was the Weekend uh, trilogy mm-hmm. or whatever yeah, yeah, that yeah. was. Uh, Biggie's they did too, but I guess that's still in the Bad Boy the Bad Boy umbrella. Yeah. But Biggie shit yeah. sounds better too than it. The and old and and the Sade collection, I, I could hear it. This I didn't, I didn't hear him do much different, but I guess you don't need to if it's arguably the greatest mixtape ever. Right. Well, no, I, I'll out. say this all the way to the degree that Uptown is still extremely lower than the rest of the project. 
Mm-hmm. Like when I was going through it, I was waiting because Uptown should bang. Yeah. And I thought, all right, if they're gonna redo it, because Uptown is significantly lower on the original mixtape. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. still significantly lower on yeah. this this re- I, <laughs> I went straight to brand new because on the original. That's one of the songs that I thought could have been tweaked a little differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's one of my favorite joints on the original, and it sounded just the same. So I was like, I'm not going to purchase this yeah. because I have this. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I get it. That makes but sense. it was a big deal. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. it, it was a big deal. And I didn't know how big of a deal it was until Rory's generation came out and, and championed it. I hate them. <laughs> no, but you know I hate. I come on, grumpy God. old man. I Let's get into it. Is it just me? Though? Let's get into I it. Hate you know what it is, but niggas. I know what it is, though, Joe. It's because that music brings you back to that time in your life, right? If and when it's a good album, so like you said, Rory's his generation that takes them back to high school or just graduating high school prom. But why they can't be cool about it more? This is what I'm saying to you. Well, they still, well, no, 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 yo, slow down. No, 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 she jump in. God, I wish y'all had social media when y'all was our age. <clears throat> excuse like, me, Like, all y'all favorite rappers excuse me, would buddy. be just as corny if we they had, had social a, media. Excuse me, we had Mahente.com, okay? <laughs> Mahente was, Mahente was popping. We had the streets, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah, the stop yeah. sign, all right? Yo, it was under the stop that. sign, nigga. Mo, what you're saying is true. That That's true, period. Uh, music is like a photograph and it brings you back to a certain place. I don't think that's specific to Rory's generation. I think that's mm-hmm. exactly what it is, but go ahead. You think it is specific to y'all? All the tweets I saw were people <laughs> talking exactly about where they were when it came yeah, out. Yeah, that's all And how was. significant that album was to their lives. Good. I know. Like, but, we can joke about it, I'm fine, but that's, but that's really what I, people were doing. But that's what I'm saying to more y'all... That's the case, period, in music. Music brings all of us to a time in our lives. Of course. Y'all just do it like losers. <laughs> You don't think they do it like losers? <laughs> yeah, you like are really why? a grumpy old man. Yes, Rory yes. and all of his friends now are, and not even just them, that that whole all million in a generation, gen, why, whoever they are, <laughs> gotta, gotta tell us a long ass story about where they was. Listen, man, I remember in 20, 2009. <laughs> Way back. I went out one night and had a little too much to drink. Woke up the next morning feeling so far gone. And then Drake yeah, dropped no, you, you get so the title. You get gone, it. Yeah, yeah. And I knew he and was I the was next gone. up. Yeah. Fam, I shut the fuck up. How come all of these niggas knew Drake was next? Joe, Joe is so grumpy. Why did all of them know Drake was okay. next? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go well, into it. Well, it wasn't hard to tell. For let's let's, let's my, go into where's it. Where's because kid, someone man. made a whole video. Video on their platform at the time of yo, I love you. You're next. All I do is listen to your shit and posted it on YouTube <laughs> ten years ago. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, so know your ledge. Yeah. Wait, wait. I wanted to defend myself. What happened? Yeah. You went on YouTube. You, you before anyone. Yo, I knew about you before. We need to do records together. I love you. I'm gonna stand in front of your studio while YouTube. women walk by. That's not on YouTube. That's not a studio. You just saying stuff. <laughs> your video with Drake is not on YouTube. Yeah, that's on YouTube. I could find it now if you give me two seconds. Yeah. That's not a studio. No, in he's front saying, of his studio. That's not that's not. All right, I'm just right. Look, look at you arguing people. something that means absolutely nothing. I'm just saying. No, man, I think that was it. around the corner from uh a, yeah, from like the club. club. Uh, yeah, okay. that was from like around the corner from like uh See? home. The and street, that's when the, whatever block that was had all M2. the fucking clubs. Yeah. yeah, that was great. That was that was me ahead of my uh destiny. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so for you it's ahead of your destiny, but for everybody else, no. Yeah. Wait, Rory. Yo, you old motherfuckers are insane. Rory, me doing an y'all interview on YouTube <laughs> and you and y'all whole generation telling us the first time that y'all heard fucking uh, Bria's interlude <laughs> is just a little Hold different. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is, Bria, is Bria's interlude fire? Yes. Okay. Shut up. Great record. I agree. <laughs> Great record. Great record. And Peter Rosenberg jumped in. I remember the first time. Like, why is so far gone make everybody remember something? Like, I, it's a it's a pivotal project. A fucking, it's a great album. Yeah, but there are a million great albums. Not oh, to that degree. I, I always sound just, nuts, but y'all, 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 y'all see what I'm saying? No, you're you're hating right now. Why we don't do that with Get Rich? No, I, no, no. Listen, listen. No, we I get did it with Get Rich. Low in theory. I get what Joe was saying. It's just that social media took this and just like ran with it. Like everybody it, decided it, to jump this came in, out on in that. The and, and here's media my, here's my thing. No, no, but I'm saying that I think the first I think the first person that posted something like that about the 10 year anniversary, yeah. I forgot who it was, but then I remember after that, everybody was posting about, it. and I was like, okay, like great, great, it changed you know Drake's life. All right, so and, no, 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 stop and I would say this that that album and Drake in general is one of the most pivotal artists. 
Well, that's what I was about to ask Rory. Yeah. For, for y'all, before, before but, we get there. But let me ask you this. Okay. For, for, for y'all, is, is that the start? Of it's what? so far gone like the start, because Rory keeps pointing to uh, social media and, you know, the digital and the turning of things. Sure. Is, is, and my point was there's other great albums, so we don't do that with, like, Cole or Kendrick. Like My argument was that it, this was one of the first major pivotal albums that came out in the social media era. Is it the first for y'all? I think one, of, one of that of, magnitude, of that for magnitude, sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. For sure. Definitely. But, and here's my thing, to, and, and I'm not, this is just my beef with older people. Like, I know y'all claim to be this cool. I think, when uh, Low End Theory come out? 92? Uh, three, I think. 93. wrong about that. All right, so what would it be? 03? I'm bad at math. Mm-hmm. If y'all had Twitter and y'all were a freshman in college when Low End Theory came out, I generally believe y'all would be on Twitter bugging too. I generally believe that. Are we like, still y'all are not now? that cool. We still do now. Y'all are not that cool. We do it. We're hey, cooler hey, than hey, y'all. Hey. Like, stop we're, trying we're, to make... We're a lot cooler than y'all. I would we like are. I would, I would like to think I'm so. rolling with that. We're a lot cooler than y'all. <laughs> we can have a cool off if you'd like. And cool and, off. And, 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 yeah, <laughs> no, we can have a cool no, off. No, but wait. It's, <laughs> a, like, it's like, a generational <laughs> thing. And y'all are a lot cooler than, than the, whatever the fuck is under y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's y'all, a fact. I have no beef with y'all. <laughs> yeah. When, it, when we introduce these little niggas. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, no, but yeah, to, to Park's point, but I don't even think it's a social media thing. I think that album specifically just changed... The sound of music, period. Like that was a big, big. I agree. And that was kind of like the album that me as a hip hop head loved, and the girl down the hall in the dorm room was playing at the same. Like it was yeah. such a big moment for life. But I think that it coming out in the social media age makes it different too, because like then you were tweeting about it and posting about it, and maybe not. But even then, t- Twitter that wasn't was. really that. Bi- it wasn't that big. Oh, Facebooking about Facebook it, or for sure. My spacing about it. Yeah. So far, going was kind of plannish. <laughs> what do you mean it was plannish? Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> no go ahead. You dig it, dig it. Go into your rabbit hole. <laughs> I'm not following you in that rabbit <laughs> hole. <so> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> First of all, Maul, you have ne- you never are following me down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I, think I did a weekend with you in the in the in the Bing. That, there was no rabbit. There was a mistake. <laughs> you wanted to mistake. leave me. Uh, no, I wanted to leave. Period. I didn't want to just leave snitch. you. I wanted to leave. I, I did too. They was I wanted to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Maul snitched on the overnighter. <laughs> this, let, let me no, know. he did it. <laughs> Yo, he was speeding. <laughs> they, they, listen, they had no right to pull us over and stop us, but that's a whole other issue. Um, <laughs> Fair. Back to my plant thing. Let me explain myself because I always sound like a, a fucking uh, hating nutcase. Comeback season one and two. Oh, here we go. Right? What do you mean one and two? One and two. I'm aware of one comeback season. There are not two of those mixtapes? No. He has two mixtapes before There's so r- far. Room going. for improvement and then okay. comeback season. So yeah, there we go. <coughs> room for improvement, comeback season. We all have heard those. I've yes. still never heard either of those. Really? Come back, uh, uh, Parks, comeback season would be crazy, your shit. Right? It's Dilla Beats. Man. Wait, no, no, I don't like posthumous Dilla but, but stuff. Sl- slow down. <laughs> oh, I, know I, don't, I don't. I never knew yeah. I say that word. Right. Posthumous. Uh, <laughs> I just, I used to say pos- posthumous. <laughs> <laughs> I just said uh, people know what I'm talking about. Dilla. It's preposterous. I just say post hummus. Papyrus. Post hummus. Yeah, like getting the hummus afterward. Yeah. Um, getting the hummus after. Post hummus. <laughs> Getting the hummus That's after the type of shit after, after was what? On. After yeah. I'm gone? After I leave the restaurant? Post. <laughs> the post hummus. Hummus. After the check. Yeah. Post. <laughs> after the check, bring the hummus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after the check, bring the hummus and I'm gonna walk out with the hummus. Don't worry about Yo, it. Park, <laughs> listen, Park's not listening to the Park, Park's not hearing those two mixtapes is kind of proving my point of where I'm going with this. And I, I didn't mean to stay on this this long, but mm-hmm. Park's never heard those two tapes, right? Right. But so far gone, when that shit dropped, that shit exploded like overnight seemingly. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I never heard the first two uh, Kendricks either. For what I mean, to, to very, people, but wait, here's Section 80. The no, Section 80. There's, oh. one, there's two before that. OD yeah, yeah. and uh, Kendrick Lamar. I never listened to either of them shits. OD, you would love. It was received. You would like love OD. I'm like, very different no. than than <laughs> his his previous releases. Oh, for certain. And of course, Wayne was involved now. This was, this was you know. We yeah. just hadn't. We they, just they had took never, him. To, they took him to summer camp in Houston. We of had course, just, it was going to change, <laughs> right? But we had just never heard. I think when So Far Gold came out, we had never heard a rapper rap and and sing that well. Well, before, well hold on, more, let's, more before it came out, many of us were were waiting, waiting. They were doing a countdown. Yeah, and we were waiting. Then it got pushed. It got wait, pushed back wait, because, so because were, of Omarion. You were a fan. 
pre So Far Gone. Yes. Oh, so yeah. was I. I remember looking at the blog spot and it's supposed to come out because he put out Say Was Real and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, shit about to be nuts. And then we saw Omarion the time it was supposed to come out. I was like, all right, fam. And I'm out, going to class. And, and <laughs> I'll come clean. Char- Charlene, Charlene, I got to give her her credit, who I was living with at the time. Remember Charlene? Mm-hmm. Uh, but Jill, Charlene was uh, heavy on MySpace. Mm-hmm. Heavy on MySpace. Also MySpace too. So she was communicating with Drake Mm-hmm. Via MySpace, so she she put me on to uh, the earlier projects. Okay, so I had probably spoken to him before that came out, before mm-hmm. So Far Gone came out. Okay, or right when it came out, mm-hmm. because gotcha. she had put me on. So I was waiting because she said this tape when it come, it's coming, and that's it. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, this Canadian nigga, like she she did it, she did it, <laughs> she wrapped it up, and 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 now that I think about it. That has kind of been throughout Drake's entire career. Mm-hmm. That. Just a girl telling you how great he was. Mm. Okay. It's a great strategy, if you ask yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we always going to follow where the ladies go anyway. <laughs> yeah. so. Well, 100%. So, so it, what I'm saying is there was a lot of us waiting for it to drop, and then it was pushed. I don't think... How did everybody feel that? Why does this keep coming uh, up? I think we're... No, no. Okay. Um, You're saying no. I think uh, people within the know that like really fuck with hip hop and be on the blogs and shit got so far going, but it didn't really pop until Best I Ever Had popped. Yeah, that's what. Like, you get. I know people in the know that sit on MySpace and the blogs and all. all I that feel shit. like I heard the Kanye I with joint that first. I disagree with that too. I think I think that was the first thing I heard was the Kanye redo of what on so far gone. Oh, say what's real. Yeah, say what's real came out if I remember correctly a couple days before the shit dropped. Okay. That was like the lead off for some weird reason. And it then was hard. It was great. But <laughs> the lead into what we were about to get. <laughs> right. I guess maybe he was feeding because we only had heard comeback season. He was rapping for the most part that whole entire tape. Right. There's like two hooks that he's singing. Okay. So he went with the rapping best, shit. Best I ever had when that came out, you could not walk 20 feet without hearing but that. But I feel record. like that came out after successful even. Yeah. Am I wrong I mean, that? the whole shit came out at once. Best but I, mean, I ever had. But best I ever wise. had was the one that took it like. To uh, another level. I thought successful was one that really blew it up. Nah, mm. best I ever had. If we talk about really blowing it up, best I ever had. Oh, okay. Like people I'm were wrong. playing that everywhere, department stores. I remember hearing successful. I'm, I'm, I'm with Parks because successful was what was playing in the streets. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. was like no. We're, we're, that's what I was saying to the people in the know and the people around. Yes, the tape was going everywhere. It best I ever had. With best I ever had. He was on Hot 97 because of best I ever had. Mm. Yeah, but they were late, <laughs> and that's that's why that's why it's confusing because yes. You're correct. They were late to the party, and the streets knew what time it was by then. And now we was just watching. Now we was just watching magic work. Like, okay, let's see what this record that we knew was fire right. that, that yeah. we played is about to do on the charts. And right. oh shit, it's going. Right. Oh shit, they're re-releasing this project. Oh shit, they're like, oh, there's a video. Oh, Kanye's involved now. Like, mm-hmm. it kept going, and we got to watch it. That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, that, it meant a lot to my generation. It's gonna be so, pretty cool. So we talked it. about it. It's, it's gonna, gonna be pretty guys, cool to man. see it be. I bet it's the number one album next week. Well, uh, why didn't nothing else come out? That's true. Yeah, but still, it was good timing. A I, th- I think album. even if you added some releases, it might. It wouldn't matter. One. It wouldn't yeah, matter. Yeah. still probably would. Is it, but it, but it's good. I'm glad the younger kids, because a lot of people that grew up like their first time having access to music with streaming mm-hmm. only know that weird EP that has like fear on it and songs uh, that weren't really on so far gone. Yeah. Like they know. The shit now. Yeah. <laughs> There's a new album to them. The same way it was to us ten years ago. I think that's dope. That's crazy. Yeah, I agree. That's crazy though. What other album could do that? What uh, what what other artists what, other, mixtape what other artists can what other artist has a project that Cold. ten years later they can put out and mm. you feel like it would top the charts or just dominate um, everything? I don't know about top of charts. I only I only have one person and one project Wayne? in mind. Carter two? No, I don't think nah. that. I wouldn't say that. I think the I Cole mixtapes would make noise. I don't know if they would chart number one. Warm Up definitely would Yeah, for Cole. Friday Night Lights definitely would for that's Cole. All, that's what I'm saying. He had two, right? Before yeah. the major? Yeah. We ain't too far from a college dropout anniversary. I mean, yeah, section, I section 80, I don't know if that counts, but if that was re-released. Yeah, that might make noise. That would make noise. College, that might still be my favorite. When did college dropout come out? 2004, February 2004. They're doing a re-release now. 2004? Yeah. Yep, February. Tweet. Are you telling five me that we're five tw- years from a 20-year 20, 20, 20, 20 college dropout anniversary? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> you old, That's nigga. Sick. Yeah, that is sick. That's sick. Yeah, I was nigga, in college. You, you old, not dropped out. <laughs> you old, my nigga. That's sick. That's exactly what that I means, was, Joe. Uh, See, and that, but, that, high but that was our point to Rory earlier. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> look at them niggas and say, "Wow, that's crazy." To myself, Wait, I'm, not, Rory, I'm not gonna make y'all feel Rory, nuts so for was, being born at a certain time. You was 13 when College Dropout came out. <laughs> yeah, I was a freshman in high school. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm College. Old, old, but again, yeah, the yeah, same way. So far gone is a big part of my life. College Dropout is a big part of my life. Like 13 going into high school. That's no, a no, big. That's because that. And that's is, why I hold. Rock that's probably, that's one of the records where you probably found. Now I see why your whole generation is soft. <laughs> For real, look at that. Yeah. No, College dropout. Buy. So far gone. Cuddy is instrumental. Nah, they, they, got, they got, they got, they Cuddy's got instrumental they got where? Cheesy, though. I couldn't buy this we shit. We had Jeezy, we got Rockefeller. Like, Which who the fuck you talking yeah, about? Yeah, TM 101 is a classic. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, right. Game's first album in 05 okay. yeah, is a big yeah, thing to us. And it's still different. But they got a couple. Beans is still there. Nah, because the shit that I'm worried, knock it off. Beans is not there in this conversation. Beans wasn't playing no, album. No, like, was like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, no Truth was... No, Truth, truth was... 02. Truth was 2000 was something. No, what's Beans... Uh, Fam, the I don't want to hear about what that you was heard when you were 14, yeah. man. Feel it in the air is when I was in high school. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't want to no, hear. But, but we, got, we got joints when we heard when we was 14. That, For sure. That, that was like... That, and this, my, this is my us. issue with y'all I was breaking in people's houses at 14. Okay, but you still have music that you go to and be like, yo, that was my... I'll say this, though. It's different because... And wait, hold on. The shit that we wanted to buy when we were 12, 13, 14, like... They actually enforced the parental advisory because it was yeah. like some hardcore shit. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like sure. he was going to buy Kanye. They're like, all right, you get that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, but we Jesus walking. Yeah, here's, here's the difference between my generation. Yeah. We didn't have to pretend to be thugs because of the music. We was breaking into houses to all falls down, and we was still cool. So I don't know what the fuck you breaking talking about. Breaking into houses no, all falls down. You're getting caught. No, you were not breaking into houses. <laughs> you getting caught breaking into houses. That's what I mean all about this generation. All falls down. That's still not happening to all falls down. Lock all these niggas up. Breaking my house with all falls. Down yeah, okay. y'all all will fall down for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I would light you and your friends up in here. Okay. <laughs> okay. You were in And, and on top of that, when that was. No, no, no. I wish you would, nigga. <laughs> uh, all of y'all fall Joke, down. Jokes aside, that was big Wayne shit. That was big Dipset era. Like, you guys are really trying to make up shit like it was this big, soft <laughs> fucking mashup of music. It wasn't. Just because Kanye was dominating no, y'all. Rory, you are correct. I'm only saying that because and the all falls down shit was a joke. But I'm only saying the, the that Dipset mixtapes was heavy then. I would yeah. like it was I, the mixtape yeah. era. Like I would yeah. like y'all to receive anybody else in somewhat proximity the way y'all do uh, so far gone like Dipset because I believe what you're saying. Y'all uh, generation just don't make that visible. Is is all I'm saying? Okay. That's a good point. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I don't I don't think that this niggas y'all didn't fuck with. You, but you, you like, yeah, are deeper yeah. into music, so I'm not even really talking about you necessarily, but your generation, y'all don't, the your adoration for people, it's hard to gauge sometimes, I guess. But you're looking at a select amount of people that went to college and be on Twitter. Like, that's the only thing you're focusing on at this point. Like, people that are my age that... Don't be on that social media shit. Grew up in the hood, go well, to no, work. I'm in the regular work. shit. They not. They might not be on so far gone. You looking at the internet? The internet loves Drake. No, like you, you have work. a really no, I'm small. In the work. I don't do that. I'm in the workplace now, so I'm talking to a lot of <laughs> these young people in the workplace. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of young people the in the workplace. workplace. What, what workplace is this? <laughs> I work places. <laughs> <laughs> I work places. So you know, also in some of those places. <laughs> are you? What are you I bagging groceries at Sea Town on the app? Like, what are you talking about? Listen, I let y'all clown y'all when I was rapping. Y'all said I was a bum ass nigga without a job. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Dill, <laughs> Amani. <laughs> That's and funny. now that I have a job, you tell me I don't have a job. That's fine. No, nah, but we also had during that teenage years, we had the G Unit era too. Like, it wasn't really soft shit. When Yo, I was, when I was keep... an early teenager. Because that's what we talk about. We talk about college college dropout era when mm-hmm. I was 13, 14. Right. It wasn't soft. Rory. Just because college dropout was charting doesn't mean the rest of the music was Your wasn't. generation's adulthood. Y'all, yeah. y'all adulthood, y'all don't have nothing hard. Stop trying to bring me back to G-Unit <laughs> and <laughs> Jesus. You brought me there. <laughs> do that's they, where you brought do, me. Do they have something hard in their adulthood? Honestly. No, nah, music, music changed. Nah, music changed. So why they don't own that is all I'm saying. 
We do, they wait, do. hold on. Own it. We just you just clowned us for celebrating tough. so far gone. Yeah, they don't act tough. What are you tough. talking about? <laughs> they don't act tough. They well, don't. well, it they just said they broke into houses listening to All Falls Down. I mean, that, <laughs> that pretty much lets us know <laughs> where, like... Not yeah. for nothing, that was actually a true fact. I've oh. definitely done that before. I want them to admit that they are the softest generation of hip-hop. They are sandwiched between tough OGs and the tough little young niggas who's tougher than everybody because they just shooting everybody. Uh, you, ha- you have a really good point there that I won't argue because that little blog era was definitely the softer era of music. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not I'm not yeah. calling these artists soft by any means. No, but, no, no, no. But the, the Coles, Wale's, yeah. Wiz Khalifa's, like, yeah. it's I'm not saying they're soft. I'm just saying the music was not aggressive. Yeah. I understand. It, it's cool, laid back music. But at the same time, and I don't want to get too factual, but at that time was the biggest boom in kids going to college. Yeah. Did you say at biggest awesome. boom? Yeah, was, yeah. That's, that's the way to describe <laughs> it. the biggest boom. Go ahead, <laughs> yeah, though. Just Go ahead. You're a baby but boomer. But that's not, that's not a bad thing, though. <laughs> I, mean, I, I actually respect not, that. Not at all. I, I think the music kind of adjusted with, because if you remember Wale and Cole and, and Wiz and all them were really trying to go after the college kids, because that was mm-hmm. the masses now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, just because we grew up a little faster and y'all didn't want to bang no more when Asher we were 21, Roth. but... <laughs> Yeah, Asher, Asher Roth. Roth. He was Asher Roth. is the Asher Roth generation. <laughs> I'm I love college. <laughs> yeah. Damn man. No, I got kicked out of college. Would have been my choice. You bring up a good point. Everybody you're talking about catered wrote, to the college marketed kids. Marketed co- through college. Yeah. I yeah. hate them niggas. That's when hip hop became like a, a smart genre. That's why I like Wiz, because he quickly left you Nick college niggas. <laughs> yeah, he did. He gave up and was yeah, like, nah, yeah. fuck that. He grew up fast. <laughs> yeah. He started, yeah, he started hitting the weed heavy. He was like, I'm out of here. But that's what you should do. You think black and yellow, black. all right, peace. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give y'all this and I'm yeah. out. Yeah. Cushion orange juice, you could do that in the yeah. dorm. I'm yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out of here. Speaking of, did anybody hear on, did anybody hear on Currency? Currency yeah. and Wiz shit? Yeah, I listened to it. I didn't get a times. chance. It was cool. That's another one could definitely not do what So Far Gone could do, but if they put out Cushion OJ again, I think it would get on the internet a really big reaction. Yeah, it would. That was another one that was yeah. big. Yeah, it was big. I put Cushion big OJ up there. Yeah. We need to come up with like a top five list of that. Uh, yes. More about nothing. Wale would be up there for me. That was super big at the time. Y'all probably wouldn't know, but. Joe was on that show, wasn't he? No, he was on the other one. I was on the other one. Yeah. Uh, Back to the Feature, yeah. which is also great. Yeah. But. I thought last night I thought of a few different lists that, that I saw Mass Appeal doing the, the their grimiest awards. And and last night I thought of some I thought of some different lists and, and awards that we should do kinda akin to uh how the NBA does. Like I, right, I, right I, when he leaves complex he decides that he has lists. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but somebody with some integrity should do one. I agree. Like that's why I, I did appreciate Mass Appeal doing whatever they were doing because they try to move with a little bit of integrity. Like, somebody should do a most improved rapper of the year. Mm. Like, somebody should do a, a, a all-rap first team, second team, third team. Mm. Uh, we should edit this. Somebody should do, somebody it. Should do <laughs> like, That's a r- rookie, rookie of the year for real. We should do what? I said we should edit this, and we should do it. That's a fact. I agree. Well, that, well that's what I'm saying. We, we, <laughs> we, we, should, we should come up with something, and we, and we should do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. So if y'all do it, that should be tacky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. won't be respected. <laughs> so let's, let's segue into uh, <clears throat> why I'm scared to death of young people. <laughs> it's not so far And gone. why all of y'all should be scared to death of young people. Chris, so, Chris Rock tried to tell us about this in, what, 97? Yeah. Kid, he, kids are the scariest people on earth. He was talking about y'all. He was. He was talking about young white kids. <laughs> he was talking about y'all. He was talking about young white kids. Breaking into which hasn't changed. With, all much. falls down, bl- blasting out of the fucking hoopty. The original. No, it was on low. Still. Yeah, it was with the Lauren Hill sample. <laughs> now I was ready to come in here. Now, now let me preface all of this by saying I'm not very familiar with all of the Florida rappers who are 18 and under. There's a lot of Same. them. There's a lot of them. They have long hair. And yeah. I don't know them. Okay. Until I read a story in the news. Okay. And then you know them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I know. So this gentleman that, that is accused of allegedly murdering his two friends, mm-hmm. uh, the double homicide, his name is Y. Hold up. Let me find it. I don't want to fuck it up. And, and I know. They were his friends? <laughs> Y N W Melly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Now hold up. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I think I'm gonna take myself out of this lyrical breakdown. I'm, <laughs> I'm scared to death of niggas like this. <laughs> Like, black people be killing white people for crossing the street sometimes. Like, when they say, I'm crossing the street. <laughs> what you mean, man? I'm not staying. If I'm walking down the street, I'm crossing the street if I see this nigga. Mm. You staying on the street, same side of the street? Nigga. Well, if you're in Miami, you everybody you walk past is kind of looks like that. Look, nigga, pop your whole fucking head off. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, fam. Is this guy the toughest rapper in the world? I mean, with the alleged crime that he's, you know, being charged with. Why is- N.W. Melly, young rapper from Florida, allegedly murdered his two homeboys and has a song about murdering his two homeboys that he apparently recorded before he murdered his two homeboys? They were his friends? Yeah. Why'd he do that? I mean, he's this, is, this is all alleged. We don't, we don't know. Oh, okay. It's all alleged. That shit sound hard though. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> no, it's but crazy. That is no, mad it's, catchy. It's dumb hard. Yeah. He's talking to a dead body. <laughs> Look, all, all of us are afraid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can't hold that against him. Like, if. No. That's like ninety percent no. of rap. Play songs. know your ledge. <laughs> oh, like man. he was just making a song. Like people I, make songs. I got your parts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. The, though. the crazy shit is he's he is he's talented though. That's yeah, the that's craziest good. part about all of this shit. Like, yeah, I mean, talented. forget that whole other. That song was really good. Yeah, that sounded. And good. he got a, but he got a couple of joints that's dope. And and word is that that was recorded before the incident. So. You niggas got to stop rapping your lives. Like, don't keep it too real. Whatever happened to just lying? <laughs> Listen, what is wrong with you kids? There's a lot of evidence to say stop doing that. Stop telling us the truth. Just make up some shit in the rhyme. I promise you, we're still gonna listen to it. This is too real for me. This is too hard. That shit sounded hard. No, it's a little too hard. Some shit is too hard. Yeah, when it turns out to be true. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Some shit is too hard. Some shit is too weird. What was we talking about that was weird? But just I mean, now? he was just singing about. Fam, don't do murder it. Murder on don't, his don't mind. Don't do it. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Has murder ever been on your mind? Hell yeah. I never made a song about it. But has well, it, I'm not but an artist. But has it ever been on your mind? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But why? What happened that day? A lot. <laughs> it, was, it was a <laughs> lot going on. 21 who, 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 A lot. Who wants to share? Anybody? Parking ticket. No, I mean you. I think I think I think. Oh, I thought every, y'all meant like for real. I think every guy growing up in the inner city in the hood has thought about a murder or murdering or killing at some point. I'm pretty sure everybody in the world has thought about it. Anybody with siblings has thought about it. <laughs> anybody with siblings? <laughs> Yo, today's I mean, the day. I have siblings. So <laughs> today's the day. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. <laughs> Niggas never thought about killing. If their he brother, changed his no. channel one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Killed my brother. I never thought time. about killing my siblings. <coughs> oh. No, I'm never joking, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind please. his brothers. Yeah, 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 right? his mom. <laughs> yeah but I think about? I think we've all thought about that at some point. All right, listen, y'all are creeping me out, so I want to move on. <laughs> like, <laughs> You're creeping yourself out. <laughs> listen, it's getting too creepy. I'm off of this. Um, <laughs> Young and May is back at it again. Young Ma, I did want to pose a question. Pose it. <laughs> is is Young M.A. the new Joe Budden? Hear me out. Hearing. <laughs> she had a hit record that yeah, we all did. loved. You didn't put did. this and in then it. and now she's only known for fucking Instagram models and bartenders. Wow. Old Joe Budden. Is she the new old Joe Budden? Wow. He didn't put this in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> y'all told We didn't talk about y'all, this. Y'all told me. <laughs> <laughs> we went over it. <laughs> we went over it, yo. This we, wasn't we what came we went up over. with a whole protocol. Yeah, yeah. Y'all no, told this me wasn't. Send a, over he's the winging topic. it. He's, he's winging it. This all right, is, all right, get this is winging it. It's all right, winging I'm, it. I'm with so, you. So, I just want to know: Is Young Ma 
the new old uh, Joe you, Budden. You can make a case. Wait, is Rory not the, Rory, not the Joe Budden now. Is, you my man now. Is Rory not sending his bits? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not sending them in. You didn't have Wi Fi at the time. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you was doing it uh, every day. Or state of the culture. Yeah. All right, so where y'all going with this? Young and May's new Joe Budden? I mean, she had a hit record that we all love. She got some yeah. bad. She got some then, bad joints that be, she be with, man. Yeah. She's kind of only known for taking everyone's bartender joint. She gotta get a podcast. <laughs> I'm saying, no, she if she it. ends up doing some some talk radio shit, she's Joe Button. Hmm. Mm. That's my button. My button. <laughs> young button. We all have girlfriends because Young and May allows us to have. <laughs> for, for, first of all. <laughs> So let's humble ourselves. That's, that's, <laughs> that's true. That's number one. So let me talk to some of the people that were in my mentions. Apparently, Young and May has a freestyle over Thadiana. So some of the Nikki fans were in my mentions asking me to keep the same energy when breaking down the Young and May Thadiana freestyle lyrics as I did with the Nicki Minaj lyrics. So let me reply simply with no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you gotta protect him. <laughs> yeah, but but why? That's keeping the same energy is overrated sometimes. <laughs> like, yeah, it definitely yeah, is. Sometimes you don't want to do that. Yeah, sometimes you I want to change the you energy. Don't want that a little smoke. Bit. Why yeah, would no. I do that to Young and May? You don't want that. I yeah. want my girl. Yeah. Different, different strokes for different folks. Yeah. Young and May is running around taking everybody's girl in front of their face. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Not at all. And then yeah. shooting videos with them, like eating with them, like they look like they're into her. Yeah. <laughs> No, they have great That's conversation. Scary. Yeah. That's not physical all the way. Like, they're intrigued. She, got <laughs> she nice, has good talk. She got a nice little hit list. <laughs> yeah. Well, a few months back when I asked Rory if he thought that Young and May had a better stroke game than him, nobody, y'all laughed me out. <laughs> y'all laughed me out the room. But okay. clearly, we are, or it's a valid question. Okay. I'm, Yo, I what if I'm Young and May know how to cook, like, really good? You know she got some secret trick Yeah, up like, we gotta, we gotta yo, get her on that. the phone, yo. What if she's funny? Yeah, like if she's, she's like not, a good. She's not funny. Nah, what if, you what if she's hope, like? You better hope she ain't. She's not funny. You better hope she ain't. <laughs> yeah, if she's I'm funny sorry. and could cook. Nah, I'm sorry, Young and May. <laughs> Fam, if she's funny yeah. and could cook, yeah. it's over. You think Young and May is funny? She might be. She could be Brooklyn. She funny. look like yeah. You know she Brooklyn's like, funny. She, she look like she hood funny. Mm. She like she hood funny. Yeah, and the chick she's bagging like like Likes hood funny. Sorry, Bernice. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So what if she know how to fry some chicken? On top of all of that. Oh, then I'm pulling up. <laughs> Bag me, bitch. <laughs> I'm, I eat. Yeah, I eat. Yeah, I like. I like chicken and, and laughs. Chicken and yeah. yeah. I, I want to be courted. Yeah, I like chicken and laughs. I like chicken and laughs. That sounds like a great night. Yeah, chicken oh, and laughs. Come on, Young and May. Who's Fuck not going? Us. Who's not going to chicken and laughs? I wish I had Young and May's phone number. I would call her. We chicken and laughs. Get you say out of here. <laughs> Here's the thing. Give me sure. a minute. I probably could find well, you. Well, you better have it. You walked all all the way seven miles to a car that day. It's, it's, Listen, we man. can get Young and May on the phone. All we got to do is, is is put it out there. Don't say that because you're single. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I want the queen, the, the no, queen on the phone. That's his comp. He trying to get you know. That's true. Yeah. In, in with the enemies. I need to, they I need dress to see the what, same. I need to see what she's doing. <laughs> yeah. I need to see what young Ma doing. And young young and they definitely, dress, they the definitely same. dress the same. <laughs> yeah, you right. You right. I seen her in some good jeans and good sweatshirts. You right. <laughs> that's some nasty shit. Oh, shit. Good old young and May. Salute! Shout out to Young and May for sure. Yo, what's up? With, can we? Can we, we did all that. We ain't even getting into her her video or not. <laughs> she put out a video. Did she? Bernice, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Bernice is in her music video. Oh, I gotta watch. Oh, it. that's what that that picture was from. Yeah, but I mean, but here's my. I think like her porn shit could really be like her Illmatic, like her porn director <laughs> shit that she was doing. I thought that was her lane for real. And like young, she could freestyle over chicks eating box. I'm. I'll tune in. I'm definitely watching. <laughs> Like that'll get you to the top. You think Young and Make a bag you? <laughs> no, Joe. But what, what, you don't think that's closed minded? <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't think she can. But don't you think that's closed minded? No, I don't. I just think that's my opinion. He didn't say why. He just said she couldn't. Yeah, you I don't think to, she'd be interested. Do you need no, me to look up no. closed minded? No, I don't. I answered your question. No, I don't think she could. No. Rory, do you think Young and Make a bag you? Young and May would take that nigga. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Rory, his that. generation. Yeah, like, yo, come here, nigga. Yeah. She put on so far gone. Yeah, like, What'd you come say? Or you Is that sooner or later? Yeah. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> the gold falls down and they'll just walk into yeah. the house. What'd you say your name was? Ma? Yeah. <laughs> 
Y'all laughing. I love that we wear the same size in jeans. <laughs> Somehow, Young and May and, and us laughing has brought me to uh, <laughs> abducted in plain sight. Oh, shit. Damn. That is the creepiest Get shit. Get outstanding ever. ready. <laughs> Why? I don't think we need to. No, at, at all. I don't this think we need quick. to at all. No, nah, we need that. No, we don't. That movie was sick. Is it real? That was the first question I had. I I, I asked myself Fam. that too. Like, am I getting punked right now? I asked Fam. myself if it was real. If it well, is, apparently it is. I sat here and screamed at my TV for hours. <laughs> you, Utah is did, fucking did, wild. Did, all right, let me ask you this. Did you finish it? Yeah, I finished it. Maul, you finished it? Mm-hmm. Roar, yes, you finished it? I finished it today. Oh, you niggas is crazy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you after a certain point, you're like, no, I have nah, to see. I, I was committed. Yeah, I had you to have know. To. You have to. I didn't have to know. Yeah, I didn't have to know. Wait, when did you? When did you give up? Man, when the aliens came in, <laughs> no, 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 nah, nah, yeah, I was past that. <laughs> I was past. You know, the dad kept pissing me off. Wait, yes. I, so you was there for the handy? Oh yeah, no, I'm way past <laughs> that. No, that's, that was relief, Rory. My bad, my yeah, bad. It was relief. I want to be call insensitive. Call it what it His was. His man's like, <laughs> he looked over. He, he looked was around. By the way, way. way, I just want to note that none of us are friends and <laughs> will ever be friends. Right, <laughs> and, I, and I mean, don't judge me, but. I thought the line was kind of smooth. That that line, like to look over and be like, "Dude, can I have hey. relief?" <laughs> so, <laughs> who do you guys think is going to win the, the All Star yeah. game? <laughs> you know how many times I wanted to just listen to right and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "No, <laughs> can I please have some relief?" <laughs> I'm mad you're trying to get it in during that. <laughs> no, that no, no, <laughs> no, no, not no, not through during that movie, but. I couldn't finish that bullshit. Listen, I loved all of that suspense. True, uh, it wasn't much true suspense. Crime. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. True crime. It was co- completely not sci-fi. Yeah, it like, was straight to the point. <laughs> they just laid down. Yo, he fucked yo, he ran through everybody. I'm not watching nothing of a nigga. If, if a nigga could come fuck me, Sin, and Lexington, <laughs> I'm, right. not, I'm not edit point, edit I'm point. not sitting there edit point, watching that. Edit point. I'm just not doing that. <laughs> White hey. people are crazy, I'm my crazy. nigga. But the, the crazy part, came, he, all, right, he, all right, I'm the first line of defense. He got me. <laughs> right. <laughs> my no, the he first didn't get kill. you. He didn't get you. You, you got kill. him. Yeah, you the first kill. That's the wild shit. You got him. That's crazy. Yeah, That's all right. Crazy. I got him, and then he went back and got my wife and my daughter, and now all of us is beefing over him. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, we all and in the same but, house calling him. But He's the, dubbing some of us for jam. Yeah. <laughs> but yo, I was but, saying to more earlier, I was like, remember when, like, we used to pride ourselves when we was younger trying to run through the crew? <laughs> he ran through the family, bitch. <laughs> no, but that's not fuck? even the sickest part. I, that ain't even the sickest part. The fucking family is alive telling me about this shit. Man, bitch ass niggas, if y'all don't get the fuck out and go kill this nigga. For what though? What they I, killed I him don't for? know. They, they must... all wanted to fuck him. Yeah, why Fam, they kill him? I'm not watching no shit like that. I cut that, that off shit immediately. Was sick. Fam. I just wanna the only thing that I was bugging me out is like the dude wasn't even like some super handsome guy. No. His game was It's like, yo, he need he, he needs a podcast. Where is that nigga at? <laughs> Cause Dang. he was getting his Dang. shit he, off. He lured Shorty into uh, the motorhome and said, "Yo, what, let's get it, let's get it in." I don't care what Maul said. That nigga was smooth. Nah, no, he like had to be. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. I'm just saying. I'm looking at him like. No, nah, he was alright. Fam, man. how did he even pull all of this off? Like he ain't the most. He looks like a substitute math teacher. Like he looks weird. I'm with Parks. <laughs> we're we're being punked. Yeah, there's yeah, no way. You think so? I've never been to Idaho or Utah, wherever the fuck that was at. But we got Utah is on some weird shit though. No, no disrespect, Utah. If you're That's listening. nuts. All uh, for all Utah. the people that are su- <laughs> super sensitive, we're not joking about people touching children. Everyone, relax. Yeah, no, yeah. we're not joking about that. I know you guys that. are sensitive and trying to get us out of here. That's not what's going on right now. Next topic. <laughs> Damn, where did we even come up with that touching children? I mean, the show. Was I mean, touching the children. show. The whole show was about. Him raping a young girl. Yeah, <laughs> he raped the family. <laughs> that's you know? but, but you know it was <laughs> no pedophilia. So. The husband was definitely a willing participant. <laughs> Wait, and that's the other white people, man. Hold up, and and I promised a few people I was going to stop. He talking used about the white aliens. People. Forget about that. That aliens. was si- before oh, that was before an alien came into play. <laughs> He came. He, he came. He was to, getting his shit off already. Yeah, they, yeah, y'all talking about the alien? That was an hour in. In the first five minutes, the nigga knocked at the door and said, "Hey, man, I'm, a, I'm picking Jan up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're I'm going a, to the lake. <laughs> what? I was like, Yo, what am I watching right now? No, Mom Dukes was like, No. 
Jan has school tomorrow, so tonight is a bad night. I'll Homeboy a- said, Man, I'm going to take her to school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop no. off, pick up. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Then, just- then a week passed. Well... I guess we'll call the cops. And that's they waited five days. <laughs> no, they called. They was on the phone with the cops and said, five days later, talking about, no, we don't think anything's wrong. Fam. White people, yeah. those types of white people, I'm not generalizing. That's crazy. That's crazy. Was that a knock on the door? No. No. My oh. girl's just drinking. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm glad that the white people on our podcast are not like that. Dude. Yeah. A nigga can't fuck me and my family. <laughs> Yo, if you fucking me, that's the sacrifice for my family to be safe. They fucked him after. <laughs> no. But the dad. I'm no sacrificial dad, lamb. You, and you got to be Rambo if I got to fucking save my family. <laughs> Word, for real. For real. But the dad was the only nigga that looked like his emotions was still like into dude. Yeah, like he was missing. <laughs> no, the, like type, the wife like, right? too started smiling, talking about the shit. Like he grabbed my titty. Like, <laughs> it's like I never felt that. I hadn't felt that in. No, two she years. was reliving that shit, smiling. Like, like he not molesting your fucking daughter. Yo, those I said a prayer that I have good parents. After I watched Word. that shit, I said a, r- a prayer Word. in my head. Like thank God I have amazing parents. Well, Word. that shit is crazy. Do you remember all of your childhood? All right, Joe. My dad will snuff you. <laughs> no, man, the son of Jake. Uh, the one and only, the son, one and of only Jake. son of Jake. No, man, listen, the therapist asked me that before, and it's a valid question. Who who remembers all of their childhood? Me. I mean, from I probably remember. <laughs> so, Shut up. I, I do. I, I don't remember, like, I don't think I remember No one was before. fucking my family. Wait, more. hold up. No one was fucking Joe, my family. Joe, I think I would remember aliens coming to say I had to sacrifice yes. for a child. That's not, that's not, okay, I moved on to a whole new question. <laughs> oh, okay. You remember your whole childhood? Well, not my whole childhood. Well, that's what I meant. What, from what point do you remember? I don't know, probably from four on. Yeah, I, I was about that to say sounds, the same thing That sounds me. normal. Like four yeah. or five years old, yeah. Yeah, yeah. kindergarten. I still right? have memories from kindergarten. Yeah. It's like normal shit. Yeah. Right? So none of us could find I, mean, I don't remember that itinerary, but. Oh, come on. All our parents was trash when they was learning how to do it. No. <laughs> we don't remember two and three. There's a reason we don't remember. There's a reason we don't remember two and two three. Two and three, I much. definitely was left with somebody I probably shouldn't have been left with. Yeah, Yo, you got to see the house when me and Sin be dropping Lex. It's, like, it's awkward in there, man. <laughs> You guys just be dropping young Lex? <laughs> That's crazy. Trying to hold him up to that podcast, yeah. Mike? <laughs> oh, my bad. That was, that was your head. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Clint, I'm around some niggas that think they ain't get dropped, huh? No, oh, I've been dropped. Drop. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. I got a dent in my back, there back of my go. head right there now. Go. Definitely. You be a word. Sure. Niggas online talking about, how does that hat keep staying on? This little my, knot. This little, <laughs> little knot right here that in the back. Hook, that hook know, right there. Keep it on. My, uh, <laughs> my, uncle, my uncle clean drop. Well, she's not a baby anymore. She's a teenager. <laughs> clean drop my baby cousin straight on her head when she was an infant. Oh, my God. I was like, wait, this is what's going on? Why are you holding her? <laughs> Damn. Niggas drop kids. Oh, no, 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 dad. The kid is going to fall. Not only that, they put you down and turn their head for a second. You roll over, fall off the couch, fall off the bed. I mean, it happens. And then they start crying. You blame it on them. Oh, what you fussing about? Yeah. What you fussing about? You just dropped me. I just hit my head on the fucking brass fucking headboard. (laughs) Fuck you, me. (laughs) I'm fucking one, nigga. Yo, adults ain't shit that they'll blame a baby baby fussing over them dropping a child. Just fell off the top bunk. I'm only eight weeks old. The fuck? Why am I even on the top bunk? (laughs) Black kids got it tough. Black kids got to get... Dropped when they infants and then fucking while they're a teenager they got to fight their grown ass drunk uncle. <laughs> Wait, you think that's a black thing? It's not. <laughs> Maybe it's an Irish thing. <laughs> White people don't fight their uncle. <laughs> Shit. For yes, real? Hell yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Hell yeah. Oh, school me then. I tell you, I'm ignorant, man. You see it all the time. Yeah, but I didn't learn about my white background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't know about yours? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. black. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah it's it's not a holiday unless there's blood on the kitchen floor in my family. <laughs> Me and Michael Paul used to fuck, fuck our uncles up. <laughs> That's funny when you get to that age, though, where you got to really square up, though, with your uncles. <laughs> That's funny. You know when it's coming, too. You can sense it. He was like, yeah, nah, he know he can't just... I got I got a little bit of that strength on me now. Like He can't just talk to me any type of way. Because then you, you test it like, yo, I'll slap the shit out you. Like, you tell your uncle, yo, I'll slap the shit out you. Stop playing with me. <laughs> my uncle, cousin Orlando. Shout out to Orlando, man. We fucked Orlando up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Orlando. We fucked him up. Orlando used to pick on niggas. All right, what else we got going on? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No Rory segue. No Rory segue. Let's, let's get into your <laughs> no man. No Rory segue. Let's get, let's get into your man, Jesse, man. We ain't talking about Jesse yet. No, we ain't uh, talking about Jesse yet. No, your man, Jesse. Talk about your mans. 
man. Jussie. A nigga with a name like Jussie shouldn't be trusted. We should have known by the U. We, well, we did know. <laughs> but we did know. You, Let, I, I, you know, let's start with, you know, boy, man, you guys dragged us through the mud, some of you. They did. Cruel, vicious, malicious, toxic, poisonous messages you sent us, some of you. Yep. Uh, for our lack of support and using critical thinking <laughs> to surmise our own synopsis of what occurred that night. And now new developments have been released to the public. Developments that the Chicago Police Department are said to have known for about two weeks now, they just weren't releasing it because word has it, they have been under the impression that this was a staged attack. But to protect Jussie, because cops will do that sometimes when you're a celebrity. That, that sometimes they don't want smoke. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, sometimes they don't want to fill out all the paperwork. <laughs> Especially with this case and what it was brought to them as. So, so the cops they behaved that way to me at first. They just, they just let it rock. Hey, you got attacked. They didn't say shit. Surveillance. Even when the surveillance came out, you know, we documented this. It, I said it didn't, it didn't look like two white dudes. You really couldn't tell from what was released. You didn't see a MAGA hat. Um, they walked with a bop. They, there weren't any easily identifiable traits. Um, and what else happened? What else was funny about this report? It don't matter. What's coming out now, it's confirmed. What, both of these niggas worked on Empire before as extras, yeah, extras right? Yeah. They did. Mm -hmm. These were two Nigerian men, uh, both said to be friends of of J Jussie's. Actually, their their lawyers because they were they were picked up as people of interest, and mm -hmm. their lawyer response to the cops were, "Hey, they are friends of his." <laughs> <laughs> wow. Get a new lawyer. Um. Also, uh, I believe one of them out of the six hundred people that Jussie follows on Instagram, it it was one of it was one of those gentlemen. Okay. Uh, and I they allegedly found bleach in their apartment. They may have well, found a, they we found all have bleach well, in our apartment. That's general. fair. Hopefully. Uh, found a red hat. We all have red hats. That's fine. I don't, I don't have a red hat. They didn't you say it was a MAGA hat. They just said it was a red hat. They just said it was a red hat. Is that a MAGA hat? Parks has a red. Oh, you have red Levi's somewhere. No, this is Polo. Red, <laughs> red, Le <laughs> red Levi's on Parks would be sick. Same thing. Same shit, nigga. You have red polos. But yeah, those things were found in the apartment. I mean, I don't know. One plus one equals two. Listen, man. How much we call we call bullshit <laughs> weeks ago. We got killed for it. I I need to see some apologies. That's what you're asking for. Yes, I'm asking for an apology. But wait, slow down. The cops let this nigga rock. They was letting him rock. wasn't pursuing anything. And then Jussie gets on Good Morning America and does an interview talking about how pissed off he is at. Uh, the lack of support that he received from the community. Hmm. Now, as someone who has prior experience with pissing off the police, that is exactly what this was. Hmm. This was pissing off the police. And to some of the, some of the uh, law abiding citizens out there that don't have any clue on how this works. When you piss off the police, they play back. So it's no shock that right after this Good Morning America interview is when the cops got a warrant <laughs> to go in the two gentlemen's house uh, and search and get all of this stuff. It's no shock that that's when all of the documents that that, that the police kept classified for weeks just started to be be revealed. And it makes Jesse look really funny in the light. Really funny in the light. So I don't give a fuck about none of you niggas that was talking shit about what we were saying. Because some of y'all just don't know shit about shit. Now that we're here, what happens to Jussie Smollett? Like, if they don't press charges, if they don't put him under the fucking jail, because I think it's a serious offense to weaponize the, the emotions of the oppressed. I said it on State of the Culture. I said it again. Like, yeah. I stand by that. For you to play with, 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 for you to weaponize the police, like white people do. Let me stop saying white people, because I love white people. But... For you to weaponize the police, for you to weaponize uh, that outrage, uh, the, the outrage of your own people. And mm. just using the key words, noose, MAGA, get yeah. out my country. Yeah. Like it was, 
specific to get that outrage out of people that these events happen. That's be the bullshit. Like these events happen all the time. Right. And now you're just using it. But that's why this is dangerous because you, you take something that happens that really happens. It, it in really this happens. And you're playing games with it. Listen, I'll exactly. Be, I'll be it's totally, the kid that cried wolf. Yeah. I'll, I'll be totally honest with y'all. It, had I not had I not felt so comfortable in in my stance with the uh, LGBTQ community, I probably wouldn't have been so so firm in addressing it because that's how sensitive it. You don't want to you don't want to offend you know that community. But I didn't, so we did. But I could see why a lot of people skipped it, why a lot of people avoided it. What happens now? I mean, I think he should definitely... That type of fucking desperation. Like, there's rumors going around that he was being kicked off of Empire Newsflash, homeboy. Nigga, stop watching Empire (laughs) at least four seasons ago. I didn't even know that shit was still on. You don't have to do... I don't know what... uh, What's the name of them, them niggas? What's their family name? The Lions. I have no idea what the Lions is doing. <laughs> I honestly had no idea that show was still I on. I watched the first season. That's about it. I think I made it to three. Maybe one and two for me. Yeah. It was a short run. I don't see enough people killing this nigga. I don't. Honestly. For this type of egregious ass act, I don't, I don't see niggas really like getting him the fuck out of here. I think everybody's waiting to see how it plays out. Wait till all the evidence. Oh, Jesus, one more. Yeah, but no. We when we we call bullshit and people was what like, "Oh, that's one fucked more up." Evidence? Do we, we need to see it in real time. I told people is, when I when you're on stage reading from cue cards about you being beat up, something is not right about I mean, that. I thought it was weird that there was no footage off rip. Yeah, and like it's, some, see, it's just something that a, a just wasn't right issue about with that. what's going to happen when the evidence comes out. And then he said, "I'm the gay Tupac." <laughs> like you went from reading about being attacked, being like a hate crime and all this stuff, to I'm the gay Tupac. Show. Come on, man. I can't take you serious. I can't take that serious. <laughs> no, but you realize when these facts come out, you're now giving all the ammo that Fox News and everyone that's been waiting for something like this to happen mm-hmm. told y'all it's this is all well, racism no, doesn't exist. It's all a lie. Nah, like they're gonna he, run with it. No, but the part that's weird to me is that he had support from Fox because he's a Fox brand. Fo- mm-hmm. Fox, like, Fox, the company, and Fox Trump, News don't I, even talk to each other. But Trump was like <laughs> sending out condolences for the first time that someone. Egregious, a minority was egregiously attacked or something like that because I, Fam, I feel the like words MAGA are in there and there's a noose. Fox News is going to run with this shit and try to make every single situation that's real seem fake because of this bullshit. Hmm. Like Jesse fucked up everything, period. Now they're going to run with every last real situation and go back to this one anytime for the next 10 years. But there was that one time in Chicago. Right. That's a danger. It's all a lie. That's a danger. Like that's that's what he re- that's his legacy. And they said he did it because he was being written off of Empire. Alleg- allegedly, allegedly, that's that's the rumor. So this is supposed to be his way to get back on. But but let me ask y'all because I mean maybe I'm stupid. Would that save him? <laughs> no, well, no I, I know in music know. maybe if you uh, got to get dropped from the label, you go create some shit. Your name is buzzing, so maybe they keep you now. No, and, how and you how get could extension you on time? How could you drop this poor beaten person? From the show, oh, I didn't think like, that's. I, th- I thought they, that, Empire would quote unquote look nuts if they did something. I think like this that. was just his plan to get popping post Empire. That's yeah. if, that's, if, that's, if, that's if, a good point. If that's if a good point. All, that's a very good point. You're right because you're right because they didn't point to uh, Empire. They uh, they pointed to his, his, his songs. Yeah. yeah, his music career. So you might you might be right. And where where does his music career stand? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, listen, he was a good man. singer on the show. I, I didn't. L- listen. Hear like a single outside the show, but he well, definitely well, performed well in the show. Well, if it if it turns out that that he uh, was lying, where does his music career go? I would like to think his career do, is does over. It, does it affect it at all? Of course. No, all this, you say that. No, but on this, this podcast, yeah. all the time we talk about how there's no 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 rules, no boundaries, yeah. really, and no, anything but is I, allowed. I, yeah, but I think this is this is a little different. different. I've seen a lot of shitty fucking. Things and shitty actions lead to success in music and entertainment. And I, this politics. won't this won't be one of them. I don't know. You can't. You yeah, can't I, go. There's from, more people I, that know his name now. You can't. You can't, you can't go from a fake hate crime to. There's gonna be a lot more people. People were clicking R. Music. Kelly links. They're gonna click his link just to hear what the fuck he's talking about. No. I mean, yeah, of but course, I th- some I will. But I think that'll move for the first single. I don't think that'll. Well, that's true. Long term. For like, but his first single better be fire. Even if it is. What is the biggest? What's like the biggest music scandal? 
that that you've ever witnessed or in, of of your time. But for me, Milli Vanilli. You mean strictly musical, not like R. Yeah, Kelly or Michael strictly, Jackson? No, no, or no, anything like that. not okay. not personal shit. Oh, okay. Strictly a musical scandal, oh, shit, fall off, shit. or something uh, like to shock the world. Like Milli Vanilli was up there. The Drake, Drake. I was, was I was gonna say, Drake. even though it really didn't do shit for my still up generation, yeah, still Drake up not writing this shit was big. Yeah. Um, that's crazy that that ended up not mattering. <laughs> I mean, that's. But somebody did say uh, that we would look at if you're reading this is uh, if you're reading this is too late differently without that meek shit, and he's probably right. Like that project. We probably I, keep, just, I, te- I, t- I say it all the time. I don't. I, we, people we, look we over that respect, project. We might yeah. respect it more if Meek didn't put I said it down. That that's a classic album. But it came out mm-hmm. before Meek did the shit. Yeah, but it was that. I mean, that it, was, it, it, it came a few that tainted it. weeks after. Yeah, yeah I, I suppose. I yeah, all of them fucking reference tracks and yeah, that was first. Man, shit off that running album. through the six with my woes. <laughs> it's a good album. It was. I hated that album when it came out. Oh wait, back to no rules, no rules, no boundaries. That's what we were talking about, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But why were we talking about that? Just, uh, just see if he puts out a single. Okay, so you say it's over for him. Yeah. And Parks, I'm with Parks. Yeah. I on, think, I think it could work. Has, I've seen. Much, it wasn't. I've it wasn't. Much, I'm with Maul. He I've wasn't really. He wasn't really. That's that's I'm with Maul because I don't think he's gonna really, put out a, a great people single. People didn't care about him before this like that. He wasn't. I agree. Like, but I've just I've I seen agree. it now where it's worked. No, nah, he's shitty finished. things have worked. I'm saying for me, I don't want to. I'm, I'm not going to listen to him if all this shit ends up being uh, fake that he was saying. Okay. I was going to say true, but and I'm, untrue I'm only art. transitioning this way if you guys aren't done with anymore. this yet. But the reports came out that Six Nine may not do any jail time if he comes out and snitches on everybody and does no time. That's where I was going. Uh, where Where does this leave his back, music? Back to no boundaries. He's going to so I no think rules. here's the opposite. I think Six Nine will be fine. Really? No. I you think are, he's gonna you are incorrect. Time. I think he's no. you are incorrect. I think in he can. One. I think he can live in God knows what island and put music out. No. Eh, and nah. and those kids will love it. No, nah, because his content. To, what is he gonna talk about? It hurts my. You soul. think his? Do you think the kids give a fuck about Six Nine's content? Really, yeah, hell it really, yeah. It really. What is he gonna talk driven about? Driven by content. Yeah, what is he gonna talk? He was content driven. Yeah. No. No. The fact that it was real or not? No, not. I'm not talking <laughs> about the content of his lyrics. I'm talking about him going on the balcony with Trey songs and all that shit that he was doing. No, I'm talking about. Him putting out music, he, put out he could music, still but... say that he is the biggest thug on earth on records, and his fans, not us, no, 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 his no, fans no, no, no. won't it care. Can't be no more that no, because it's bigger than it just to y'all, to y'all, no, no, it's, no. to y'all, it's, it's to bigger world, than no. just the music itself, to y'all. You gotta. He can't talk about. He can't talk gotta... about his whole image. Everything you. that he was is gone to y'all. No, I no, think, to the world. No, Every, everything that he has, he built up Yo, his fam, image. If you gone. think those fucking twelve-year-old white kids in Saint fucking Missouri See, this, give a fuck about his no, image and if it's real, what? you are bugging. Do you think that if he didn't have tattoos on his face and rainbow-colored hair and did all the antics that he did on the internet, that people would care? Because there's a thousand people in your mentions right now putting out the same exact music that he is 1, and getting zero spins. One thousand percent. But he they're not. Is, they're not six nine right now. Like what are you talking about new artists? But I'm this, saying this, that, this that, that, that right will slope off fairly You know quickly. what though? I've I've been around long enough. Doug, y'all had I've been around those long kids enough don't care. to know. <laughs> See, I agree with you, but I disagree. Yes, those 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 kids don't care, but only when only when it's true to an extent. Like they don't let me figure out how to say what I'm trying to say. Because we've seen this a bunch. We've seen this with quite a few rappers to come in with street cred and then some type of way lose the backing that they had. Middle America loves street shit if it's real. Mm-hmm. Right. Not, mm, but not too I real. I disagree. Middle what America. What they think is real. Yeah, but normally that comes from remnants of it being real. When, when the Middle America fell in love with Jeezy and BMF, it was real when yeah. Listen, it's a million rappers. That Can I cut you off real quick? Go ahead. The Jeezy thing. No one in Middle America knew who BMF was. They knew who Young Jeezy was. No one in Middle America knew who Supreme was. They knew who Fifty was. Yeah, but they knew. The, they loved the, the music. They loved the, the songs. Music. They didn't yeah. give a fuck where they was coming from. 
Yeah, but you get the imagery, you get the certain yeah, right. content in the lyrics. You get Dog, y'all are missing it, that. That shit sounds good to them, and that's a cool image to me. I don't give a fuck where it okay, comes from. Okay, so let's fast. But the track image this. is gone if let, he's on an island by let, himself. Let's fast track it. Your your I think your, he can, your point is that Takashi can have a sustainable career when he comes out with the same mm. tough guy image. Let me not say sub- sustainable because I'm not sure what he's going to do after he snitches. He, I think whether, he, whether he goes into witness protection because he probably needs that. If somehow he finds a way to put out music, I think wait, if you if you put the right eight away, putting out music saying, in witness yeah. protection See, is fucking real, insane. Rory, Rory, that's why your he point, can't put out no music in, 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 in You can't tell me going to have any type of career. Sammy the Bull lived his whole life in Arizona. Said I'm Sammy the fucking Bull and did all this bullshit. Sammy and nobody the Bull is not spitting a sixteen, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. We only lived his whole life. We're talking about no rapping. Six nine will live his life, but he will not put out music. No, he lived his life in the open. No. Let's slow this down because you're comparing now to Kashi to Sammy the Bull. Yeah. And we're uh, talking about a high profile case of someone snitching. No, Rory. It's a fair it's no. a fair comparison in, no, to no, some it, degree. No, it's not. Keep this argument where it is and stop dancing. We're Who's talk- dancing? You. My feet are, are in the same place. So then let's stay here. We're talking about a snitch sustaining his career once he comes out. Not a snitch living his life. We're talking about Takashi. Mm-hmm. And how successful his career could be with his newfound circumstances. I'm saying, in- and and by your own admittance, that does include witness protection. Of course. So you your argument is saying how it could be done. So walk us through it. No, I said in the event that he finds a way to put out music, I think if he finds the right 808 and says, "Yeah, I snitch, but fuck them," the kids are gonna the, those kids, not us, not y'all and y'all morals. Mm-hmm. But how long? Do I you think, think his that fan lasts? base Let's is gonna it. is going to rock with that and sing that along and For say, "Yeah, I snitched long? on them." Fuck For them. For how long? As long yeah. as the music's good. Rory, fuck nah, no, man. Yeah. I don't see how yeah. Rory He can't put that, that out. Yeah. He can't put out, I snitched on them, fuck that. No, no, no. That can't happen. First you, got, of all, you guys are, are hey, completely all, misunderstanding the, the hey, demographic he's talking to. Hey, and it ain't to y'all. But wait, no, let me make man, myself, that out. before y'all even continue. These kids don't give a fuck. Let, let me just make my stance clear before y'all continue, because... And I can't. I'm not. I won't even delve my brain into that. In my brain, no matter what happens, he show his face out here. He start putting music out. They gonna light his fucking ass up. Takashi Six Nine has never come to New York City in his life. Once this I, trial is over, he will never be in New York City. I don't, I don't in his think life. they're only trying to light him up in New York City. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a lot of problems all over. This is not a New York well, City. And thing. the people that's, that were protecting that's point, him are no longer that's the protecting. Point him. of witness protection, guys. So but, tell me how he can put out music and witness protection successfully. I, no, you, you're yeah, completely no. changing the... All right, you just made an entire new point out of nowhere, and that's what you do best. I said, in the event that he can put out music, these kids won't give a fuck if he snitched. Nah, they, they that will. was my only point. You they made will. a whole new argument, because that's what you do. They will. But They will. I think they will. They'll kill. You think... Care. All right, fam, think y'all, are, y- y'all have this generation all no, the way they fucked will up. Care. They don't give Snitching a fuck. Snitching is something that is still handed to you, down to other to, generations, though. Like people, even young kids care about their friends telling. Middle them America that. white kids give a fuck because that was his real demographic. So, hold up, hold up for, so Rory, give me so that was his real demographic. So give me a, the, the example of the other rapper where something similar has happened. It's never happened. He's had a successful but this ge- this generation has never. There's never been a bunch of Middle America kids that didn't give a fuck about snitching and only like people that have tattooed faces and rainbow hair. Okay, this no, is middle, a whole, this middle a whole America. New, middle it's a whole Ameri- new world, guys. Yeah, but Middle America has always been fascinated with what's going on in the inner cities. But wait, and y'all keep They've talking about been fascinated with that. But we keep talking about Middle America. This kid numbers wasn't that crazy. Yeah, they were Let, that crazy. Let's slow this down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, he was doing what one ten. Yeah. And guess who was buying it? I'm I'm talking specific to his fan base. That one ten. So tell me, it ain't the hood. So tell me, what, it's not the so hood. So let's stay on math. I'm with you. Tell me what percentage of that the the one ten is still supporting him in his new circumstance if he finds a way to release music. Sixty percent. I don't think so. No, never. Yeah. Yo, shout out Kuda B too. And, and we we shall the see kid, the kid that he sent Sean. Kuda B is very talented kid, man. Mm. We P- peace to him. I hope. Yeah. That that works out really, for that gentleman. I've mixed like half of his album that was supposed to come out. I don't, I don't think know that kid can can come home, show his face, spit a of verse. Of course not. No, no, no. I don't think he can do. he can say where he is. I don't My think he only can say argument a block. was in the event that he, he makes say, music, he can't say a family member. <laughs> like I, I I don't I I think he's handicapped in many 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 ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if I'm watching what's going on between Ack and his baby moms, <laughs> like there's a lot wrong in this equation. Yeah, there's a lot wrong. Two years ago, 
Yeah, <laughs> it's more wrong now. It's a, yeah, it's a, a lot more wrong. It's a lot. It's a lot more wrong yeah. now. Like I, I, I would. What is he? What is he coming home to? That's a good question. Nothing. Like yeah, well, seen, well, he has seen, to. He has like to change seen, his entire you've life. You seen uh, whatever home that cloud chasing chick named? Uh, but I don't know her name, and I'm not saying her name. But you seen that post she did on Valentine's Day? I always knew you was a rat ass nigga because you always knew the right things to say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that a bar. One. Yeah, and she put a bunch of like crying emojis, Did like, Dream laugh, Doll like say laughing that? emojis. Okay, it's just fucked up because like this here's a kid, a, a young kid who has to change his entire life now. Like his entire world has has to change now. Who six nine? Yeah, but I'm not looking at this as so em- em- empathetic toward. Him, the kid that had nothing to do with the streets, that got himself involved with the streets because it was making him some some money, and now everybody is fucking jammed up. But, but, but no, you? but no, no, yeah, but that's I'm, nah. I'm not, I'm not, no, no, no. I got the no reason, sympathy. The re- cool. I don't have I don't have sympathy for. I have sympathy with the fact that he was chasing something, and didn't understand how real the consequences of that lifestyle were. That's fair. I have never that's, seen. That's what I, have. I, I, I know I a lot know, of people bro. say that, and honestly, I think he. He in, the, in the last he year, know. I think he was pretty controlling in what he was doing. No, I don't think so. I think he was just so fo- so fixed on keeping that image and doing whatever. It That's took what I'm to saying. I think he knew what he was doing. He was that just Im- trying to get it popping. Yeah, but he nah, didn't. He nah, didn't expect the feds yeah. to kick his door down and all of that shit. Right. He didn't. He did not expect. Uh, that. I think in that that Breakfast Club interview, like three days before he got indicted. When he was saying the only thing I fear is the feds, and he kept bringing up the feds, I think it had finally hit him that all right, this shit. Oh no! At that time, at that point, he knew that they were coming. Yeah, but that's already you and you. It's too late now. They they got their case. But he was trying to maintain a lifestyle, and he was trying to maintain an image, and I don't think that he knew the ramifications of, you know, the dark side of that image. It's like, oh, that's real. I think it's fucked up that we get to keep saying that about him. And you might be right, Maul. He's only what twenty? What? You might be right. 21, 22. 22. Yeah. You like, might be know. all the way right. But I have I've I've watched him for a year. Shit, even this new report says he got a discount on the chief keeps shooting. So I mean he ain't so he ain't just uh exempt. No, he's not exempt. But he yeah. gets to be exempt. We get to say, we get to say he was only how how old was he? He, I don't think he knew the ramifications. He he's he the only nigga that's coming home. <laughs> okay, so to what you pointing just said? at a bunch of niggas who protected him. Yeah, but it's you gotta, fucked up. But you got to remember one thing, though, Joe. There's no. Motives. I hate when niggas use the streets, man. Oh I yeah, hate but that's, when niggas that's, use the that's, streets. That's, that's that's a more more than more people in hip hop use. So the I think you just kind of proved my point in saying that I don't think his core fan base of those kids that not really from the street are gonna care. People already giving him sympathy. <laughs> no, I'm not giving him no sympathy. I know you're not saying no, that, but, yeah, but no. people are giving him sympathy. Like, I, he didn't know I, I he was just trying to chase, he was I trying to find friends. Like, I don't know people are already shooting him bail. I don't equate <laughs> No pun him, intended. I don't equate him getting sympathy to people supporting his music career. I guess I my, my only point here is that I don't think his generation of kids gives a fuck if somebody snitch. I think it's the wild, wild west out there, whether it be the street kids or just the Fam, suburban kids. Nobody, they don't care. They don't nobody care. Nobody listened to this nigga until he was next to Shoddy. Yeah. So yeah. now I'm supposed to believe that he could come out and get it popping on his own? Yeah, I don't. I don't, so, I, don't, I, don't. So. I don't think so. I don't. That little Mexican nigga was trying and busting his ass and fucking failing, like Park said, like all the rest of them little funny looking niggas putting tattoos in their face and dying their fucking hair. Great. Yeah. He was failing. And not to say, like, his music was his not music exceptional. Hit, man. It was not exceptional. His music hit. I like not, his to music. Y'all. To I y'all. like his. No, listen. <laughs> That's just going to be my I point. I like his to music, y'all. but I'm not saying that he. I, I'm just saying that he doesn't was have. Was it exceptional to you? You keep it. saying to y'all. Was it exceptional to you? No. To, then don't say to us. It's you too. To, the, to his, the people he was talking to. Yes, that was they shit. But there's a thousand other six nines. That are trying to be him. That will be him while he's. In okay, before that, before that, that there wasn't what? a million Someone six nines. Guess, guess what? There we, wasn't a million six nines when he was coming up. There wasn't, and don't even sit here and say there was. You said there wasn't what? Well, I don't even know. All right, there wasn't a what? Parks is saying that there's a bunch of kids with tattoos, faces, doing all that shit. I'm saying at that time there wasn't. Like you no, could yes say, was. you could say yes, he was next was. to Shoddy and all that. Yes, there was. They just wasn't next to Shoddy. <laughs> They was. They just wasn't next to a nigga that 
redacted. I'm not saying nothing else. Yeah. They didn't have that. And you think that mattered to the kids on YouTube? I think that has been the rap rollout plan since 86. Yeah. And I'm saying who it matters to. <laughs> Maybe longer. That's 70-something, but that's before my time. Yeah. That has been, that okay. is the rap rollout. <laughs> and I'm not disagreeing. That goes back to the 50 thing. These people didn't know the real inner workings. Yo, he got shot nine times. I heard this and that. They didn't care. They just heard that. They didn't know what was re- who he was behind or what happened with him. Yeah, but when you have people putting money into the promotion and the streets backing you, yes. and that no, and that's that's great. That's it. great and all. Six nine is six nine. That's now. why Cardi can't lose right this second. That's exactly what because the, it's too late. It's too late. The money is there now. Whatever they want it to look like, my nigga, it's about to look like. And that's, that's six what nine happened. is the same thing now. No. Granted, if he. It, everything is going to depend on if he can put out music. I don't think he'll put it out, but we were doing the hypothetical of if he could. He still has that buzz. This trial is going to go nuts if it even hits trial. I, it's going to be the biggest I, shit in the world. He's going to be disagree. huge if he can put out music. Rory, no, it's not. We okay. all know what's happening at the trial. He's singing. There's no suspense to this. Yeah, no. There is no suspense, Rory. You're wrong. Nobody's and waiting. So you don't, think, you don't think no one's going to watch this trial? You think everyone will? It's not the OJ case. Yeah, we no. know what's happening. There's no. We're not waiting for anything. Yeah, no one know, is glued. No one play. is glued to this trial. No, I don't glue. Oh, no. you all are fucking bugging. No. Well, I'm not gonna say no one, but I don't think as many people as you think are. I'm, I'm not saying I, no. We how, are all right, watching. Should I word this differently? My, I'm, wor- I'm the, wording the it the people way I want. don't. His demographic don't give a fuck about snitching. They don't. No, okay. I don't think so. We'll see. <laughs> they yeah, we'll don't. We'll see. These I, I, kids don't give we'll, a shit. We'll see. We, there's we'll no see. way for I was us a kid. At, I was a kid at one point and yeah. I cared about snitching. Yeah, we yeah. don't need to you go. You wasn't a kid in 2019. I more then than I do now. But wait, yeah. I'm not even <laughs> arguing against Rory. What I'm saying is, even if you're right, homeboy fan base was not big enough to go through this. So even if you're right, I don't think that 110 uh, turns to 70. I think it turns into 30, 20, right. Right. and mm-hmm. shrinks. Right. If that, like I'm being generous. That's all I'm saying. Shit, 20 from Wicko. It's not too bad. <laughs> and, and, and the nigga had no idea what he was doing when he was next to the killers. Mm-hmm. Tell me how it works. Like, even if you're right, Rory, let's say you come out with th- three smashes. It don't matter if your business is bad. This kid is fucked up. I don't yeah. think it's like, I think we're waiting for Bobby Schmurder to come home. Of course we are. I yeah. think we were waiting for Remy to come home. Yeah. I think there's been people we've been waiting this. Oh, we've no. been wanting. To I am hear. not in no way comparing six nine to those two people. But what I'm saying is, if I don't know when Schmurder's coming home, they say two years, even if it's three years, four years. He he went in. He will be embraced. He, he went in respectable. More, more than embraced. Right. He's yeah. coming out a certain way. Shine went in a certain way. Like yeah. right. how you go in, it matters in how you come out. And how he's going in, for you not to have an example of another rapper that su- has successfully that should, done it. That should let you know that it can't be. You done. stand you stand firm in this shit, Rory. That's because, all. Because I'm That's... saying there's never been a generation of rap fans that just don't care at all about anything. And let me make my and let me here's my like there's never been like when Shine went away, he was would be coming back to rap fans that held something to a certain integrity. These kids don't all I'm getting at is these kids don't give a single fuck. If that shit bang, that shit bang. I don't care what happens. All right, give me let's let's there's do pre- let's do shit. predictions. Yeah. Let's let's stop arguing. Yeah. We can't with predict this. it because yeah. he's not gonna put out music. This was hypothetical. I'm yeah. saying let's do That motherfucker's gonna witness protection. We're never gonna hear from him again. That's a prediction. So let's do predictions. Okay, that's my prediction. Say it again. He'll go to witness protection, and we will not hear from him musically, period. Someone might catch him because he's easy to catch. So you did all that arguing. <laughs> it was hypothetical. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love Rory. <laughs> no, we cool. said oh, it was that's hypothetical. Good. That's good. All, that's good. All, all, all that argument for him, I agree with, I agree with your final take. I agree take. with you, too. <laughs> I think that he, he will won't be, be in never witness see that <laughs> protection, and we will never <laughs> no. hear. We're not even going to get, what's Shine Little Over the Phone album that you love? Fam, don't do that. God, <laughs> Godfather, Godfather Barry Live. Hey, don't even do that. We're not getting that. We're not getting to Takashi buried alive over the phone. <laughs> no. We get a Max B album before we get a fucking Takashi album. Oh, that's free, free Max sure. B. A Max, another nigga niggas is waiting for. Because of how he went in. Absolutely. Yeah. Different era he went in. Nigga went in yesterday. He went in and whenever, what was he just talking about? 2010? <laughs> Somewhere around here. Yeah. Different era. Mm. Okay. Different circumstances. Yeah. Salute to Max too, well. by the way. Yeah. That's murder. Yeah. Yeah, word and Schmurder and uh, and Rowdy. Man, I can't wait for for Schmurder and Rowdy to come back. 
Okay, so speaking of Schmurder, um, let's talk about Goldlink for a minute. I saw, I saw CC, uh, the CC show interview, uh, Sheck West. Shout out to CC. Um, when all that Justine Sheck West shit was going on, and, and mm. Sheck is adamant about denying anything that Justine says happened, right? Cool. Okay. All of that, all of that's fine. Minding my business. Domestic issues have nothing to do with me. I wasn't here. I don't know. But I recently learned that Goldlink's uncle is Wayne Perry, which makes me view this story of Sheck West and his people hopping out of a car and beating the shit out of Goldlink while he was with Justine Sky. It makes me view it a tad bit differently. <laughs> Wait, that happened? <laughs> Allegedly. That is... Justine's account allegedly that she was walking well, with attacked. her. She, no was, one got she beat was walking up. with her man. Well, how do you get attacked and not get beat up? You get attacked and not get beat up. Yeah, you could. Definitely could. You could win. Someone can attack you and then you can win. Oh, that's a poor attack. <laughs> <laughs> that is a poor it's attack. Happened. Fam, can, it's can't happened. Attack. Fam, can't attack. If, if I win the attack, yeah. <laughs> You are a trash attacker. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, that's 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 the alleged story. She was walking in the park with her man, Gold Link. Uh, <laughs> walking in the park. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, that's when the attack happens. Yeah. Okay. Definitely well, now, walking in the park. Where else are they people was hand attacked? in hand at Grammys in the park. <laughs> <laughs> but where else are people attacked? Honestly? Oh, this happened at the Grammys. It was over Grammy weekend. Okay. In the park. And the story is that in Los, that in Los Angeles Park, Sheck West was, one park. was in a car, seen them, um, sent his goons over there. To I don't fucking know, man. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> okay, but that's the story. And then I learned that uh, Gold Link's uncle is Wayne Perry. Do you know who Wayne Perry is? I do know who Wayne Perry is. Yes, me too. Very aware. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Anybody else? Yes, I'm aware of, of who Wayne Perry Savon is. Savon doesn't know who Wayne Perry is. Just don't. But don't. that's why you're not the Don. Yeah, <laughs> he can be the Don. Don't, Do know the, don't know the other Dons. Do your Google. He would be a Don. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, he's a Don before he's a Don. <laughs> Why would somebody do that to someone related to Wayne Perry? Allegedly, maybe, maybe, maybe not knowing. Maybe check yeah. it. No, yeah, maybe or, or wherever the alleged attackers were. Maybe they well, didn't know. and that's kind of where I'm going with this. Uh, to a point, Rory was trying to make earlier. I now feel like we need a yellow pages, some type of some type of encyclopedia distributed amongst the culture to make people aware of the people that sing songs that might make people think that they're soft that happen to be related <laughs> to people that no one in the world would ever think is soft. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ever make that mistake of talking about someone with a soft song related to. <laughs> A murderer, <laughs> but th but this is real simple though. This but not is, even this a is why you like don't a hitman. Like that's not that's different. Yeah, yeah but a this murderer is, this is... and a hitman is different. Yeah, yeah. but this is why you give everybody in that DC respect for in career in DC at, in the eighties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's why you give everybody that respect before you even if, that's if true. you don't know exactly that. that's true because you don't know you it never could know. be. That's my problem with Rory's generation, Maul. Yeah. <laughs> They don't give everybody the respect. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta That's give fair. I own that for my generation. Yeah, there we go, Rory. Yeah, I, I, my generation definitely doesn't do their research of just people in general. Like, you'll try to get in a bar fight, and that guy's a UFC fighter. <laughs> yeah, no, no way. That, I've seen that. No way that Sheck West was aware of this. Probably not. Pro and I've never so. really heard Gold Link. I was aware of the, of that, but I didn't ever heard him say it. Like, I just knew that from people that I know that are from Maryland in the D.C. area. Yeah, well, I mean, we, I hear, I hear for, his, for, I hear his, for his sake, you know, go, maybe he doesn't want to wave that flag around. Yeah. Because that's not, nah, you know, he, that's, I mean, that's not something you should want to be, you know, no disrespect, but you should be proud of and waving around. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you could be proud of your uncle, but it's not something you're going to go in the interview and be like, yo. <laughs> yeah, but it, I mean, yeah, but it's, it's still, it's, it's a, your uncle is, you know, locked away for doing crimes that they... Uh, convicted him of that you, you don't want to be proud of that You know what I mean You don't Necessarily want to Wave that flag around now, I mean his, his uncle He still loves him Regardless mm -hmm. of You know How his life turned out But you know Sheck probably I mean Golding probably feels like A lot of people would be f Afraid of doing business with him Because of that 
You never know, so you don't want to wave that flag around. But that's a good point. You know what I mean? So you, I mean, listen, man. I deeper than that, it's just this whole situation is becoming very interesting very fast. Yeah. Because I had no idea that this even happened, so yeah. this is news to me. Yeah, don't hit women. That's the bottom line. <laughs> that's the bottom line. Like that's that fixes all of this. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Fam, just you shouldn't put your hands on women. Just yeah. glad Joe uh, changed his tone on Gold Link. Because me and Maul have been trying to tell Joe that he's a great artist. Yeah, Joe was kind of here. Joe denied it. No, he didn't deny I'm, it. You, I'm, you know, I'm, Joe, I'm, Joe I'm just throw jabs at hater, the, the, but the, I'm the still dudes that sing. I, I don't know Gold Link to be a great artist, but that's not to knock him. I don't know enough about him. Yeah, I've you didn't hear his enough, project? I haven't heard enough songs. No. Yeah, you, you would enjoy his You like it a lot. You would. You definitely would. I, I just, that's what we were trying to tell you when yeah. I think when you I played, played uh, yeah. Crew, like how many years ago yeah. was it? Crew like, is no, the, I see you, money on the yeah. film. But you would fuck with that whole project. I feel, see, that hook, he, 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 he tricked me, man. That's that, Brent. Well, that's he, Brent Fayaz on the hook. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, but it don't, who wrote the hook? It's, it's, Brent. It's, it's a gold link song, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. That hook don't say Wayne Perry's my uncle. <laughs> no, that hook well, definitely doesn't say That's not him singing money the hook. all around me. I feel like I'm the man. No. <laughs> no. You was the man already. <laughs> <laughs> right, before this. Yeah, this yeah, nigga, you ain't never had to write this song. Right. You could have been broke. Yeah. <laughs> if we would have just gave you all the money. <laughs> Yeah, take it. I hear that song totally different now. <laughs> hey, yeah. Go Link, man, friend of the show. Yeah. Well, whenever, whenever you want to come through, yeah, kick, kick it, kick it about your new project, yeah. man. Hey, <laughs> our doors are open to you. I, no, our doors are your doors. No, man. Yeah. actually, where we we will come to you. I was about to say, yeah. Yeah. we'll come to you. Yeah. Your door is the door we will yeah. come through. Absolutely, we don't need a door with you. Absolutely, and tell your uncle hello. Yeah, yeah, blessings. <laughs> blessings Blessings Gotta send blessings For sure Wayne Perry, for sure. See I need Rory's generation To fucking come, Kick it up on Big Sean Man when's the Big Sean project I Sony. can't hear why, why can't I hear The word blessings Without thinking of Big Sean now Blessings what? See Sean, I don't oh, under, yeah, yo, yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. understand Why you're not Have more Admiration for everything That Sean has been doing Through all this bullshit He's So low, much low, low, low bullshit. So he's much bullshit Everything what, with what, good what music bullshit? With his exes Like the fact that he's just laid low and let everything blow over Damn, and then him just put a project out, I think that would be a, a you type of move. A no, new a new I, you. I view that not totally, the, I view that would totally not be different. A new Joe. I view, it, um, nah. I view it totally different. I feel like Sean distances, distanced himself from good music at the right fucking time. Smart. And I feel like he got a number one record out of an X. I don't feel like he like well, I don't I look at it different how you look at it. I don't look at it like he oh he's still Hanging in there through no, I feel like no, he no. opportuned his way through. No, like, that's I, my opinion of Sean. Opportunity is quite the opposite. I think he's doing the smart thing. Well, where's his, where's his single without Drake, nigga? How about that? <laughs> All right, if you think Sean needs a single with Drake, you have to go back in Sean's catalog. I don't think that Drake said that. <laughs> well, he's Drake speaking said, to Drake. Drake said, "Ain't no blessings without me." Hmm. Well. I ain't heard a peep from that nigga since. <laughs> you defend it. I don't know. Look at everything happening in his camp. I'd be quiet too. He's I would been, let the dust settle. He's been out of that camp. Sean, contractually? Yes. No, he hasn't. I'm not. That means you Rory, of all fucking Rory, people know how much that means. Am I talking about contractually? No. no. He has distanced himself from good music. Roy, respond to it. That's what I'm saying. You of all people know what that contract means when you're trying to put out music and everything that's going on within your label. Of You of all people should know that shit. Yeah, they're beefing with Drake. I may have some tiff with him. Y'all are going fucking nuts. My ex was wilding over here. I'm just going to sit back and let y'all sort that shit out. And when I get my shit together, when you guys are now cool and not putting out all these bullshit seven projects, running around tweeting, figure that out. Sean, I'll get my album together listen. and let that dust settle. One thing about Big Sean, though, and I, I, I'll step he on ledge with this. When he, come back. He, he, he's going to put out a record that's going to be incredible. He's going to put out a dope fucking song. Big Sean? Yeah. He always does. But ha- always. I have to ask to that, how do you not see that? How if your label what? is in turmoil, why wouldn't you just play the back and what? let all the dust settle? I, but when you keep saying, I disagree when you keep saying your label's in turmoil. Everybody on Def Jam has been constantly releasing. He's on good though, right? Good and Def, He's Def on Jam. Def good. Jam. Yeah, but good. Wait, are you saying it's a, good. you're saying it's a good time right now to put out music on Def Jam? I'm saying <laughs> yeah, every, both labels. I'm, I'm, I'm you're saying, being a real hypocrite right now if you say that. I'm saying everybody on Def Jam has been putting out projects, with the exception of Big Sean. 
So I'm not talking. Nah, I'm two never, chains has. Yes, he has. He's been. He's never stopped. Two chains just not in between. Not in between. Not an EP. And, Pretty and, girls and, love and, trap, right? He's he's that was never a year and a half ago. He has never stopped. When's the last time Sean put out? That's the cycle. Like a year and a half ago. No way. How no, long ago? Two, two no years, probably. Two years? No, yeah, it was a little longer oh, okay. than that. It was a little longer than a year and a half. So that that's all that yeah, what so I so, you guys, so in man. the midst of Tiana's album getting fucked up, everything that's been going on with Push, Drake, Yay, all that, Sean should say, Hey guys, my album's ready to go. Like, no, fuck out of here. You're fucking everything up. I'm not getting in the mix of none of this shit. My album's gonna stand alone. <laughs> you you keep saying that, but I didn't hear him wave the good music flag on two twenty two eight releases. One. One what? Talk about the the Janae project? Yeah. There was only one. Really? Yeah. You sure? Positive. I didn't hear him wave the good music flag then. I'm doing a album with my wife. <laughs> Not talking about Who's both no. on, it was also on oh, Def Jam. Please, she just covered that nigga's name. Fuck out of here. <laughs> At the time, his wife. wife. Are they still together? No. No? no? Hmm. I'm shutting up because it just sounds like I hate Big Sean. It does. Yeah, you hate Big yeah. Sean. You do, and I've been trying to figure out why. I do hate because Big Sean. Because, really like because you would respect everything he's doing right now if you didn't have a specific hate He ain't doing it. F- he's doing the smart thing. But you hate Big Sean for like the, the craziest reason in the world. Yeah, what is the but reason? Let's, but let's not get it. I remember but, but you let's, liking but, but Big Sean. Let's, let's slow down on that. My, my issue here is with Rory saying everything that Big Sean is doing when Big Sean is doing absolutely nothing Which for the past Which is the two smart thing years. to do. Well, that's what he's saying. Everything, everything nothing that he's is doing everything. in regards to, yeah, like he's saying that, yo, the fact that he's Less not is doing more. anything. And that is my problem with Rory's generation. Why? Oh, my God. Because I am critiquing an artist that has been missing in action for three years. And Rory is saying that I should not have the right to do that based on what they've showed us, even though it's been close to three years since they've produced. Now, I understand how that sounds like I hate Big Sean. And, yeah, I don't really like Big Sean. Mm-hmm. Not musically, mm-hmm. him, yeah, uh, him. But musically, I think I have a, a good point here. Any artist that has not produced in well, close yeah. to three years, we no, are going he, he to judge the, differently. He, he put out the album Metro Boomin in December of 2017. Cool. I'm not saying that that's yeah, recent, fair. but that's not that but, long. But ago. also, to, your, all right, to everything you just said, that, I'm that, talking. That, was, that wasn't it. That 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 was Chief. That wasn't it, Chief. And the one yeah, before I was that in a big was February of 2017. Wait, what? I decided. It was 2017. Cool. February. I liked I Decided. I wasn't a big fan of the Metro shit. Yeah, me um, But, but I'm, I'm also talking to someone that has been championing Blame the Label. Why do you guys put out music when everything is fucked? Like, I can't believe you of all people can't see why Sean would say, maybe it's not a good time for me to put something out. Right. I can't. You of all people. That's where I'm lost. So when is it a good time to put something out? Because I understand where you're going. Joe, Joe would have wanted to get off the label. Yeah. So what are you saying? How do you know he's not trying? I don't. I'm. Asking, it takes a while. I don't. I'm. A, I'm asking you what you. What do you think is happening? I can only speculate. I don't know personally, but I would imagine Sean is either trying to get off that label or really wait until Kanye is done with all this fuck shit and Paul Rosenberg is done with all this fuck shit and me as the top tier artist at Def Jam right now. If you look at their roster, putting out all these fucking random uh, Dreamville session copycat shit. Dog, I'm I'm cool. Y'all can do that at Def Jam. So when y'all are ready for a top tier artist to be the priority, let me know because I got heat in my hard drive. So, but the, all right, so the same. All I'm saying is the same way you're saying you don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Well, we're speculating. You, you it's just, a podcast, but I know it, but you just assume the best, and I assume the worst. How come me assuming the worst is bad? Because I know you know. have been in similar situations to a degree. And it's an artist that has that. delivered. I don't look like this Big artist Sean has, trying to get off no label. Big Sean, go, I, Big Sean is in all the Khaled pictures. He's in all the, all the label-esque pictures. <laughs> label-esque pictures. Label-esque. <laughs> Am I, I'm telling you what I'm saying Khaled's from Instagram Big Sean. Khaled's Instagram is the... Yeah. I think okay. Big Sean is in all of the label-y, <laughs> clicky pictures. That's, with, with that's no as music. of what? That's as of what? The last Kinda, month? Hey, there's the another, last month? There's, an, there's another he wasn't two, in the label there's another the two artists that do that that we clown on a regular basis that I will not name. Mm-hmm. That's my point. Why is it different for Sean? Because, I think you're, because, because you know, you're not saying the Sean truth right decides now. to drop, it's going to be a good song and a good product. We haven't seen Sean, period, in years until that one Khaled picture because he's on the Khaled album, which I would hope would be the beginning of him rolling out new music. I'm telling you what the boy said. 
<laughs> ain't no blessings without me. <laughs> right, ain't no man. blessings. The boy said, I ain't, I ain't heard a peep out that nigga since the boy said it. Listen, <laughs> Joe Budden ain't nobody. <laughs> y'all, y'all can kill Joe Budden. Joe Budden ain't saying a thing. Right. But the boy said it. And, <laughs> and I ain't heard nothing since the boy and, said and it. And the boy is bad. Hey, the boy is hey. bad. <laughs> All I know the is. The boy is bad. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the boy's bad. The boy's now. bad. The boy's bad. <laughs> hey, hey, and Roy, know the boy's bad. <laughs> That's why I don't understand. But I got it. Hey, rock out, my nigga. Rock yeah. out. Listen, <laughs> we can close. It ain't Joe saying it. Though. We can close right. this with. I seen, it's the boy. I seen, yeah. I seen Sean. I seen Sean at the bowling alley this past weekend. And he said, "Yo, I'm trying to come up there." I said, "Just let me know." And we left that it. At, and we tell, left it at that. that don't tell we you left it at that. I'm just saying Big that'll Sean be a great is. guest. Does that, that not had. tell you how disillusioned Big Sean is? That kind of pr- exactly proves my point about Big Sean is full of shit. But why do you say he's full of he shit? He was just hobnobbing. I'm, I'm out. I'm yeah. Moving, he was, I'm he, on, excuse me. On. He was doing what? He was hobnobbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you old. <laughs> hobnobbing. Uh, Cardi's record. Cardi's record. Cardi's record. Uh, I love Cardi's it. Cardi's record. I love it. We lost our edge. I love it. You soft. There you good? Yeah, man. <laughs> what happened? Damn. Damn, boy. What happened, though? That hob not me. <laughs> God damn. All right, you said you liked the Cardi record. Yeah. I only listened to it on the train. It sounded cool. It wasn't like I mean, super bop. But it's one it's, of them records. If it's so, not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, no doubt. No <laughs> doubt. It's one of them records I'm, I'm positive we'll end up having a super First dope all, video. Joe, stop making faces. Because Kaiser Bruno? sent this to yeah. you and you approved it. <laughs> you approved this record. That record when Atlanta ain't, that record sent it to you. It, it's not good, but it don't matter. Yeah, that record ain't it. No, that's no, that's what I agree. It's, 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 it doesn't it's, matter. It's, it's not good at all. That's not it. But I like it, it. It it don't matter. You like it? Yeah, I think it's cool. <laughs> nah, I'm we cool. Just, we told you about his generation. I'm cool on that record. I'm cool on that record. That ain't the one? Nah. Okay. And I like, All right, so I like what, both what of them. I like both like, of them. If it does but, become the one. Yeah. But it is going to become the one. But that don't prove our point. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't that, care. I don't care about what point stands. The people, like that the radio forces. That record is going to become number one, her, Bruno, I don't the give a fuck about none of that. that record ain't Redo, the, the, yeah. the singing melody. I understand yeah. all that. What I'm saying about Cardi is this. And Cardi can't lose. So let, let, me qualify, let me qualify this. Cardi cannot lose. Cannot, 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 cannot. Cannot lose. Until For she the can people lose. that don't know the music business, I'm not saying this out of uh, uh, out of fanfare. What I'm saying is, Cardi, in terms of just sheer red and black, is way too in the black. Yeah, she's way she too the in sauce. the black. It's millions from Pepsi. It's millions from Netflix. It's millions from the shows. It's millions from Fashion Nova. It's millions from this. It's millions from that. The music could fail forever. Now. And it does not matter. She is way too up. What that means is somebody somewhere who's in bed with her, because she's in bed with a lot of people, is just going to keep dumping money into the shit uh, until it works. And it's going to work before they lose. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's as simple as that. So I don't really like this record, and it scares me because... That's two in a row. It scares me because... This is new money Cardi. Yeah. Uh, Bodak Yellow Cardi was Atlantic not believing in Cardi and Cardi having to get out in the streets and get a hit. So mm-hmm. she got one. Didn't have to write it, but she got one that was still kind of identifiable with her, her persona, her career path, her journey, right? All of that's cool. That's how Bodak Yellow sounds. After that baby, and, and you can go back to whatever podcast we discussed it, but after that baby... When they started to rush that album, you could hear the polishedness. You could hear the ch- the shift. You could hear the direction change. You c- you could hear a lot of money being spent to the big time songwriters because it sounded a lot more polished than a Bodak Yellow, right? Mm, okay. Album came, it worked. Grammy, all types of shit now. Every Instagram post says Grammy nominated artist, and I feel like it might be a little dig to Nicki Minaj, but let me not do that. And here we are now. First record that comes out is Money. Joe Button says that is a low quality record. Don't get that confused with bad record. Yeah. Low quality doesn't mean bad, it means low quality. <laughs> 
that that whole anybody who's ever anybody who's never written a rhyme that's tried to make a song has tried to make that song where you fill in the blank and the sample says something catchy and that's the chorus. Right. And then you make the chorus out of the catchy sample. You hating? <laughs> no. It is a, it, no, it, it is I'm it, not is, hating. it is an old method. I'm not hating. Of course because, it is. Because any that that record worked, but that's not cha- that's not taken away from my point. You talking about money worked? Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. And it worked because of what I said earlier. At, the Atlantic, Grammys. No, Atlantic was pumping money, pumping money, is money, it, money, money, money into that record. Has it really worked? Before. I haven't heard it out like that. It's been out. Yeah, yeah, yeah it has. It, it, it has, it, and it shocked me. It worked, but it didn't do what it should have done. Right. They, I mean, it worked. It I don't think it did what they thought it yeah, was going to do. Let, but let's it, say it, that. But, but it, it played a lot longer than I, I am. Anticipated, right? Like the video, the radio, visual helped it a video, lot. Yeah. Did the Grammy? She killed the performance. She helped that record a lot. Yeah, she did that. But my point is, the record still sounds like Big Money Cardi. So I'm waiting. I was waiting for the next record to see when you were going to be able to tap into that city girl energy that you gave them. Yeah, because you still have to be able to do that, do that ratchet shit that people love you for. Yeah. But you have to do it for your shit. That City Girl shit is fire. Right. I'm waiting for the Cardi record. Here she comes. Right after the Grammys. Same way I announced this. A podcast. I predicted all this shit. That she was coming right after the Grammys. Mm-hmm. So here she comes. I got a single coming. Me and Bruno. Uh, Bruno, who she couldn't go on tour with. She was real sad about it. The pregnancy interrupted a lot. So I'm sure she's super excited to have a record with Atlantic's top artists. They're two top artists. They're doing the right thing. Putting them together. I'm waiting for the record. And bong. It's... More polished, regular, fluff. regular, fluff. It's regular. It's regular. So, what confused it's, me is it's I'm going to buy a certain song. Yeah, it was Reggie. It's Reggie. What confused me to, to your point, but because if this was a Bruno Mars record that she featured on, I would get all right. Let's just keep the buzz going. But it says I paid attention to the artist. That was really a note to me. Cardi B and Bruno Mars is the artist. Yeah. It's not Bruno featuring Cardi. It's not Cardi featuring Bruno. I don't. I don't put much stock into that because they're both. In the I same, do a lot because I'm going to Joe. Way. I'm going to Joe's point in saying, yeah, you could do the feature shit to keep the buzz going. You Cardi, whatever Grammys. Right. You still need to come with your record. This is the first time. This, this I think, is a safety net <coughs> when you do the Cardi B is. and I, I Bruno yeah, Mars. I agree. It's a safe. It's a safety net. And this, I'm, I'm, let me give my scathing hot take. This record is rushed. This uh, Bruno don't sound good. Yeah, he didn't sound like good. that's what lets me know something is off here. Yeah, they ain't align his vocals. Yeah. I, I want to hear him mix the way yeah. yeah. whoever yeah. normally yeah. touches his shit. Yeah. They ain't do that. Yeah. I want to hear Cardi with more of the top MCs. And more we, of the we top just heard him. We just heard it with Meek. No. <laughs> you say rock him? But we just we just heard it with Meek. I feel like there's another feature that we just heard. Oh, she's on the blue face shit. Like she's no, not. No, no, no. I'm talking like <laughs> rock him. He used the word no, no, I'm MC. Like, I'm, I'm just talking like a record with Jay. Cool G. A record rap. with Nas. A record with. Uh, um, I don't think she gets that yet. You naming people Why? that money don't get you that. She just got best yeah. rap album of the year. How Mo- she don't get money, that? Money don't get you that. Accolades don't either. I, yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm just saying I would think that it's coming. You just got best rap album of the year. Nah, nah. I wouldn't. Yeah, nah. I don't think that comes. I don't think Nas is rushing out to do a Cardi record or Hov or Hov yeah. or M. Yeah. Or no, I could see M doing it. I'm M, just saying M before them. I don't think. I mean, there's no, another M, th- M would do it. There's, a, there's another. There's somebody, another female. Somebody, there's another female rapper that has these features. Yeah. No. And I think she deserves. And she them. doesn't have best rap album of the year. Okay, Nikki has. Nikki has. A Nikki deserves to be with Hov. Nikki has features with Nas. You don't Nikki think Cardi deserves it? I mean, Hove. she just got the biggest award think, you can receive in music. And that's where I'll side with you and our Barb and our Barb shit. Nikki earned all of those. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Nikki earned all of those features off of. <laughs> I won't say dominance, but niggas respected what she was doing and 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 how she was giving it up next to Wayne, who yeah. at the time was the best rapper in the world to a lot of people. And I ain't gonna lie, listen, let's keep it a buck. When niggas be in the studio writing shit, sometimes some up, sometimes we got a song where we need a saucy bitch there. She was the saucy bitch, <laughs> mm-hmm. like and the only one. Who is that now? 
I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's one of those yet. I don't. I don't know. I don't look at Cardi as the uh, falsy. You bitch. know what I think is gonna be that, and I mean this in an extremely respectful way. I think Melly might get to that. I Yo, we need like a real. Melly. We need like a real saucy bitch on this. Sh- and Melly, let me not use the word Melly bitch. Melly is saucy. And Melly is dope. Bitch. That's toxic. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. On, man. You said <laughs> it. You engaged. said it. Thirty got, minutes. I'm ago. I'm outraged. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, you just said it thirty minutes ago. And let me just say, uh, I looked up toxic. Another word that y'all be using wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think Melly has the talent. I think she has so not the to swagger keep... of like if I need that type of chick on a record, oh, Melly will kill that. Swagger's on a hundred thousand. thousand trillion, yeah, Got with it. the auto. So not to keep going back to that. So the female rapper who won Best Rap Album of the Year is not saucy enough to get these features. No, not a Jay and Nas, no. That's very interesting. Okay. No, no a saucy not, feature. Mom. You think Cardi, Jay and Nas looking for a every, saucy feature listen, right now? Everything no, I'm just saying it's very interesting on. that you win the highest award in music and you're still not at a point to where you can you deserving of certain features. To me, that is it says a lot. That's all I'm saying. That's all. You got the highest oh, award I, I, in music. No, nah, no, I think you I skip what different type of features. <laughs> no, I'm I'm naming. I'm I'm we're having a conversation. So you're saying you have to be a the saucy chick to stand the third. I get all of that. I'm saying you got to earn it. Yeah. yeah, I get all that. So you earn best yeah. rap album of the year. Nah, but that's not necessarily. But you don't earn a feature stats. from. That's not necessarily speaking to her. It ain't Nas. Nas, Nas ain't MC. running. Nas ain't yeah. running to to the stat. To, to give yeah. you a verse And if you yeah. talk about Maybe Nas and Jay Earlier in their careers Yeah, yeah maybe. maybe they would've Collabed maybe. with Cardi well, not But not when they Name any this. top MC Most Def ain't Most Def ain't running uh, Over your accolades yeah. Who who else, who else Any top MC no, yeah. no, just, just something to think about That's all I hear what you're saying But Listen yeah. I get, I, Listen I'm with you I give Nikki All the credit In the world <laughs> In that regard Right uh, I, don't, I don't think Nikki today Could get uh, All of those features Today I don't, I don't either Today, but that's not set. we're not dissing because a lot Nikki, of people yeah, can't get those. I think if, I think if Nikki wanted a Nas feature right now, she can get it. I think Nikki that can depends get a Nas on feature how whenever she wants. Depends how their relationship ended. <clears throat> I'm just saying she could probably get an M feature whenever she wants to now. She probably yeah. has a Nas feature that's in a hard drive somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure. What's that song called? Back <laughs> again, sleaze. <clears throat> Relax. I'm fine. Um, <laughs> where's my phone? <laughs> okay, so uh. T.I. and Floyd are back at it again. Uh, Welcome I, back. Did y'all hear the T.I. did song? I did. I thought it was smooth. I did. I thought he was rapping over uh, Sweetest Hangover at first, but <laughs> it wasn't. It was a good beat. Yeah, it was. I was ready for Ghostface to come on. <laughs> right? Yeah. Ghost would have killed us. Mike, Mike, Mike and and rap nothing about what T.I. was talking. Play this shit, Rory. Let's see what T.I. What what T. was uh, where T.I. was taking us. I think this, this record is a product of strictly social media influence. I, I don't think that this record, T.I. does this record if social media wasn't such a big influence. Like if Floyd or, did or this. Or his wife. Yeah, Floyd did this. And, <laughs> I think his know. wife got a lot to do with it. Oh, yeah. But do it matter why it's done? Yes, absolutely. Music, so? it always matters why why music is done. You don't think it's hard? I think it's I think it's a good music. It's a good record because Ti can make good music. But I, it's just like, should you be doing this? Hey, hey, hey. You think you think why he released it takes away from the words that he's saying? No, I don't think that. You don't think he had a little of the meek oodles and noodles flow on that? Huh? Think he had some of the meek oodles and noodles flow on that? Nah. On the hook? Right. I'm not sure that's Meek's flow anyway, to be trademarked. No, I said it's flow on that specific song. All right, turn this off, Roy. Is this a diss record? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Why well, wouldn't it be? Flat out. How, how that shit goes? It's not a diss song. It's a real song? Yeah. <laughs> this is Lost Ones. Yeah. This is definitely Lost Ones. He just talking. He just talking. Beef, this is the beef that'll never end with these two. Yeah, this is a lot of personal sauce on this. Yeah, like I don't, I don't really know what to say. It's so personal between them. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. They, they T.I. and Floyd both make pretty good arguments even if Floyd isn't the one who wrote his argument mm. I don't think so I don't think Floyd's argument was very good at all you don't think so no why tell me more so his, main, about his Instagram his, post yeah his main argument was what uh, y'all buy 
clothes and do drugs and promote it in your music, and so now I can go out and act like a dickhead? That's not a fucking argument. I'm, I'm kind of with Parks. It was a very surfaced Like, oh, you're argument. doing a bunch of shitty things? I'm going to do some shitty things, too. Fuck it. It, it was down no, to the point. Not, it was down to the that point works. that it was like, all right, do you know what they're doing down with the oil companies? Like, it, yeah, it's just so like, how far in the rabbit hole we want to take this? Yeah, I'm sorry, no. I mean, deeper than all that. That doesn't never, excuse you from standing outside of a Gucci store acting like a fucking idiot. Yeah. I mean, y'all know how I feel about Floyd. I never, I never look to Floyd to be an example. Yeah. Period. I, he's he's self centered. He's he's like it's all about him, and if not, he wants to make it about himself. So I mean I don't I don't look to him to be with the people on anything. Like, you know what I mean? That's just me. It is so I didn't when that clip came out of him going to the Gucci store, it was just like whatever. I didn't give a fuck. But I just don't think that what he said I understand what he's what what he what he posted in terms of people do jump behind things for the moment. Cause he was saying why boycott it for three months? Like what is that gonna do? It's gonna do something. Yeah. If a company loses money for three months, yeah, some changes will happen. Yeah. By the way, I didn't know it was a three month boycott. I never well, that's what that. they were saying. Okay. Well, that's what Ti yeah. said. Yeah, okay. Ti gotcha, said gotcha, gotcha, let's gotcha. boycott for three months. <laughs> right. So I mean, I, I think change can come because once companies start to see that they're losing money, they will make necessary changes. Yeah. But my thing with Floyd is he doesn't care because he he feels like this doesn't directly affect him right. in his life. Right. So he doesn't give a fuck. And this is what T.I. is saying. Like, yeah, but you should give a fuck because you're one of us. Like, you're from us. You're from our culture. You're from, like, we support you. Yeah. So you should support the people and whatever they're fighting for and whatever affects the people. You should be behind them. What do you yeah. think about Floyd saying that you don't, that T.I. only takes this stance because his career is, isn't as... Uh, hot as it once was. That's that's bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Because because yeah, Floyd's career is not as hot as it once was. True. And I think Ti definitely has the background of even when his shit was popping, was still helping out with the community. Yeah. Like I don't think this is a new Ti thing. Yeah. This isn't something that he's just trying. It's like, yo, my shit, my not, shit is failing, so let me try to get in the community. I'm not like, sure that Ti has a is whole failing. resume. Yeah, that I mean, as well. No, but that's yeah, but he's not failing. But, that's, not failing but see, no, but that's that's the stigma that comes when when somebody's not in front of the camera every day. All the time. Yeah. But he's in front of the camera. No, man. But 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like they're not out. And and like no, people not saying, talking about them as much. People think, oh, he's not doing well. Right? No, he's just doing yeah. other things behind the scene that doesn't call for him to be out front all the time. Right? He's but you know, again, that that was just a stupid jab that you know. I think, like I said, it's it's it kind of goes back to what we were talking about, what I said last week. Anyway, putting yourself against shitty human behavior does not excuse your shitty human behavior. Right. I agree. And a yeah, sense. Parks. And a fucking. That's it. Sorry, Floyd. Damn. Don't be sorry, Floyd. Fucking be sorry, Floyd. <laughs> fuck Floyd. Yeah, Give a okay. fuck. I'm not gonna say fuck Floyd because he could beat me up. <laughs> fuck Floyd. I'll say it. He'd beat Maul up too. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Floyd. I ain't but no, I mean his, his his Ghost Rider did they thing to try to you know revamp that horrible clip. I get it. And, it, and what and I was getting from from the Ghost Rider is you niggas is fickle, man. <laughs> that like that's all I got from it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, people are fickle. I agree with that, one thousand percent. That's human. But I also agree that when people get behind a cause, and it's for the better of people, like when people were slighted or people were something wrong was done, and people yeah. want to make it, they support it. I don't care if it's even even if it's yeah, even if it's fickle, it's like I get it. I see why my people would feel a way about that. Yeah. So I'm going to support my people and what they're standing for right now. Yeah. I'll support it. I said that before in the podcast. Because here's my thing: Floyd could have went in any store. Right. That's why. That's why he made this. It was. Yeah. It was a self, a self, a selfish thing yeah. because he made. He, Floyd can go in any store in the world yeah. and not stop in front of a camera. Or he could have went Gucci and not. Yeah, not stop in front of the camera. You could have yeah. not been so just nasty, arrogant nasty about, it. about yeah. it. That's my thing. Like well, it was yeah, just arrogance. I don't give a fuck what y'all doing. Uh, I like Gucci, so I'm going in Gucci. My lifestyle will not change. We've fuck all, y'all. We've all. Everybody has had something Gucci at some point, maybe in their life. Right. I, haven't. I mean. Some not parts, no. <laughs> Levi's is your, is your yeah, thing. Yeah. But what I'm saying is we like see the red ones yet. Yeah. But, but what I'm <laughs> saying is he's saving those for clear. tour. Saving yeah, but it's like, tour. you know, I mean, we all like who doesn't like Gucci cool, but it's like if it's at this moment, if this is what's something happened, this company made this mistake, or some people say it's not a mistake, they it's blatant, but whatever. If the people are like, listen, we're not fucking with them right now, we're not fucking with them right now. Period. Yeah. Go in Louie, go in Fendi, go in 
Hermes, I think they're all like, owned by the same company, but it, even still. Possibly, yeah, they, some of them are. <laughs> yeah. But it's like my thing for Floyd to do that was blatantly saying, man, fuck y'all. Yeah. And that's the problem I have with it. Yeah. Niggas don't want to lose, they, you know what I mean? What is he losing? The word. The drip. <laughs> Gucci. Trust, Trust me, there's, there's, there's plenty of drip in the world. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. I, I, I can't speak for who he has relationships with, but I mean, when it comes to like Steve Harvey, for instance, uh, with the Steve Harvey and Monique shit, Steve Harvey for quite some time has told us, yo, fam, I'm not trying to lose my good white people paying jobs. Yep. Like every time we see him with black people, he tells us that. Yep. So we know where he stands. Yeah. And that's nasty too. I mean, but you know, the thing about that Steve Harvey thing is he's made that stance years ago and he's stood true to it. So there is something. It's still nasty, but at least you can kind of say he told us that that's how he give it up. Like he's not trying to jeopardize. Told us who he was. Yeah, we're not trying to jeopardize. When somebody tell you who they are, when they they act like who they told you they were, you can't be mad at them. It's like, yeah, he told us that's how he give it up. So it's like, all right, cool. I still don't fuck with you, but... You didn't lie to me. You told me that's how you give it get down. I'm not jeopardizing my job, but to me, it's just sad because it's like you'll always be a worker. I didn't realize he had a history of that that uh, sentiment. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, well, but because he's a comedian, heavy. you took it as jokes and uh, uh, uh. Oh, in the past, yeah. yeah. But it's like yeah, yeah, but when you say it at every event. In this yeah. particular conversation, I was taking it as I wasn't sure what her integrity was. So she I had bigger sure. balls than he did. Yeah. Well, that's why I just did the conversation. That's the crazy part. She yeah. got bigger nuts than he than Steve. Well, th- that's why the conversation is confusing more because when it comes to money versus integrity, integrity, the integrity side of that argument knows what's at stake. Mm-hmm. Like you know what what you must sacrifice, and you're right. willing to do so, which right. is why it's integrity. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I felt like. I didn't understand what st- I, I know what Steve was trying to say to her, but I don't really think he got it for real. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. no, he he didn't he didn't sound like he he got it. And I guess that's the sad part to hear from so many of our brothers uh, in very prominent positions who just don't sound like they get it. Right. Because he's an articulate person, so you think that he would, like I don't think he misspoke. And and he you know comes I mean? from the the, the ghetto. You know, he comes he comes from that. So it's not like Steve Harvey wasn't born with, you know, the greatest of opportunities. Like Steve Harvey is at 70 million a year telling me that if he crumbles, his whole lineage crumbles. Mm-hmm. That's not necessarily true at 70 million a year. Yeah. You could keep one and, of those and, seven, one yeah, of those years. Yeah, like, we'll hold man, you down like, for a couple generations. Yeah, they, they, But my thing is. It's like when Sprewell was telling us he needed to feed his family. Yeah. Yeah. But my thing is you, you should work yourself into a position to where. You, you're not saying, oh, if I crumble, you know what I mean? Like, become a boss. Like, do create empires and do shit like well, to gu- where Guru tweeted, uh, you can make money and keep your integrity. You absolutely that's, can. That's another thing. You absolutely can. It was a very, such thing. a very simple yeah. idea. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, yeah. You that's can do it. People have done it. The, yeah. the question then turns to, hey, my nigga. Where do you want to get your money? Right. Where do you want to get paid? Right. Steve Harvey is getting it from. Yeah. You know already. Mm-hmm. Like we don't have to say. I Hov is getting to the bag. I don't feel like he's stopping his integrity. I, right. I feel like whatever I'm doing is only on the strength of integrity. Like there's a bunch of people I feel like is doing what they're doing on the and still moving with integrity. I don't feel like you have to necessarily sell out to get a certain dollar. You don't. And yeah. I think Steve Harvey is highly intelligent and knows that. That's why I think this shit is even weirder. Mm-hmm. Like I think he knows he could get money by himself. Absolutely, with integrity, right. man. If I and admit, still was like, well, I guess I will just stay over here. If he's in fact making seventy million dollars a year, you he can, knows you how can to fall back. Yeah, he knows how to. Seventy is, is and the, he's been is, at this for a very seventy long time. is the low end. Like some reports got him at a buck, a buck twenty. Uh, at a wild. buck, buck twenty, fam, you can stand with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's been doing this for like you, you, 10 or 15 you, years. you can tell a little bit of the truth. Right. Yeah, yeah. you really trying to get to a buck forty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Deep, deep, clearly. And, but that's also my point to Maul. If Maul makes a uh, hundred forty million next year, he's tricking. <laughs> no, I'm not. He's giving a bitch a stack. <laughs> she can't get a stack if you got hundred forty million. F- hey, hey, ma, no, ma, 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 you're gonna roll out things hey, to do with hey, it. Hey, ma, do me a favor. <clears throat> uh, walk ten feet away from me and just 
keep spinning around until I say stop. <laughs> <laughs> I got a stack. No, yeah, Marlon, I, I, I got a stack for you. Marlon's doing shit like that. Come I, on, I, it's I, fun. I, I, Knock I, it off. That's I would, objective. I would do that. I would do that. I would do that to with the woman that I know. Like I'm well, not well, doing why that. Why would you treat her that way? <laughs> Should do it for whatever. Free. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's why it would it wouldn't even matter. I'm talking about tricking when dudes know that this girl would never talk to you, never give you the time of day if you were not paying. And where's the ATM? <sighs> I think with 125 million, that's not gonna matter to you. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, with 120 we just, million, you're gonna we just, we just we just spoke about integrity. Right, but I don't think that's integrity. That I is integrity. That comes from boredom. No. If I have a hundred twenty million, <laughs> there's, there's the word. There's the word. No. Boredom. Yes. No. <laughs> if I have a hundred twenty of them all, <laughs> yeah. I'm a. I'm a think of new creative ways to eliminate boredom. I'm telling you, I am. <laughs> yeah, but trick it for me. Tricking is not one of them. I'm sorry. Like I'm definitely never handing a woman money for. Yo, I can't. Sex. We no. can't really have this talk here because I'm gonna get judged. Why? <laughs> Okay. Have it. No. Live in your truth, King. Never. <laughs> no. They're not gonna live in your truth. Think of the relationships <laughs> can't live in a truth. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> we we can't be ourselves. No, I feel all. you. I feel you. Um, all right, what else is really important? So we, uh, I don't need to ask y'all where we stand on money versus integrity. <laughs> yeah, I think we covered yeah. that one. Yeah. I just feel like Monique should have did something else. Like she, uh Monique speaking of integrity. Monique should have slapped that nigga. No, like go on. <laughs> you gotta get the info me. Go on a comedy tour yourself. Route it yourself. Do something yourself. Like you, you, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't be appear to be as angry as she is without some type of resolve. Is all. Like we've. It's been years, and there's no resolve. It's just Monique, Lee Daniels, Will Packer, fucking Oprah, be forever. <laughs> right. That's what it is. Fuck it. Colin, Colin Kaepernick uh, kept his integrity. Got the bag. I've seen people say the opposite. I disagree. I completely disagree. Yeah, I think, yeah, go get your money, bro. I'm sure he's going to do good, good, if not to get, great, uh, to and against amazing against the things. law, what you did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me my money. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I would just like him to, to play, play again. I mean, I know he got his money. Great. But his passion is football. Yeah, he's still young too. I mean, passions rearranged whether we like it or not. That's true. If his new passion is social, social yeah. justice, then <laughs> something ha- something's served. happening in your life, and you have a new passion. I, he, you I like think it or not. I think he's learned so much your about new, your new passion. Gets rid of your old passion. Yeah, it can. So it can overpower it. Hi. Where I care more about this passion it becomes, it becomes, it becomes more to important. A guy named Joe Budden. <laughs> yeah, right. It becomes more important. Yeah, your passion is rap. His passion was rap. Oh, I see what y'all are doing. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas passion only be what pays the bills at but the moment. But that's still my passion. <laughs> when you become an adult, yeah, that's, yeah. that's all. That's all your passion really is. Like, yo, what's paying the bills the most? That's a fact. Like, is is podcasting y'all passion? Because tomorrow, if I know how to make money off of just playing with the yo yo, <laughs> oh, I'm the most passionate nigga in the world when it comes to the yo yo tomorrow. I'm letting y'all know right now. You a yo yo nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know where I'm at with it. Like, yo, the yo yo? Oh, yeah, let's get this back. Yo, I've been doing the yo yo shit let's, since I was a kid. Like, But wait, there is, come on. There's no let's you got history. Get, there's no let's get this bag on a yo yo. You, <laughs> you don't know. It's, it's one yeah. person. You don't know. know what I'm well, saying? It's, it's, a yo yo is one person. You need a man. Nah, there was a couple yo yo's. Yeah. When yo yo's was hitting, there was there's a couple. No you need a guy with a string. Like you need, There's yeah. no dual yo yo. Nah, you know, let's, let's, let's create it. Yeah. Now you found a market. Uh, you know what I mean? I uh, see what you did. Yeah. You never know. It's create is create. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> Create his cre- Joe thought he got his shit off. Man, I hate when Joe Listen. say something he think he got it all. Create is create. I'm so scared about Shut this the tour. Shut the fuck up. Yo, I'm create so- through it. Create through it. <laughs> no, that was equivalent so- to when I heard Cam say computers Putin. I was did, like, yo, you get they the did, fuck though. out of here. They, they computed. That. Computed. They computed. They computed. But create. that's why that's why I'm so scared of this tour, which we're in L. A. and Oakland. Buy your tickets now while they're still available. I'm scared that Joe is gonna get you're his creators create speech thing. off yeah, this whole good. tour. Like, mm-hmm. cause that's his spiel at the end. Yeah, it's to tell the creators create. that they gotta create. Yeah, that's and true. And now I'm thinking that we have all these dates coming up, and we just gotta <laughs> hear this speech every night. <laughs> this, this bitch is tough. All right, I got a question for y'all, and don't judge me. You're not gonna judge me. Judged. Why? Why? Yeah. Why are people still hanging out around rich kid <laughs> <laughs> with their jewelry on? <laughs> no, period. What happened now? What happened uh, last uh, last time? Uh, Same thing again. Same thing that keeps happening to Richard. Okay, King. where where was Tory Bricks when all this happened? 
Mm. I don't know. I'm still trying to find out where Usher was when all this happened. Same studio, different room. <laughs> okay. Why do people keep getting the drop on Rich the Kid? Well, he, people on Instagram live he and all that He probably left his shit. location on. Well, no. Yeah, well, that's that's the rumor that he was on Instagram, put up the money phone, and four hours later, there was some niggas in the studio with guns. Yeah, that's that how it goes, That sounds about huh? like how it goes. Yep. Yeah, that'll do it. You niggas are fucking idiots. <laughs> Dog, I don't post shit until I'm going like two days later from that spot. Yeah, I learned a fucking valuable lesson in Hoboken, Hoboken Johnny Rockets that time. Yeah. <laughs> Posting where I was at. Everybody flew over there. I'm like, right, and, I'm... and Johnny Rockets has like the bright ass lights that yeah. you could see from over Cro- the Hudson. Uh, across the street. <laughs> and yeah. Johnny Rockets don't give a fuck about protecting the, uh, their customers. Either, their, either. their patrons? Yeah, not at all. The only protectors is the shakes. As long as they can stand up and do their little shake dance. Yes. <laughs> That shake dance is why I would have never worked at Johnny Rocket too. You ain't telling me I got to get up every forty five minutes. And- <laughs> <laughs> so shake on my broom. You never seen a little milkshake song? I have. Yeah. Old I have. Yeah. I've seen it. That so, shit is funny. Be- Imagine a person got to teach you that. Like you know, you get a new job and somebody got to walk you <laughs> no, through. Way way funnier than that. And that you can't get it. Yeah. Gotta, like reach. Like I do it again. I right, listen, man. I'm trying to show you. <laughs> way- Go home and practice. <laughs> <laughs> Way funnier than that. Back in the day, of when niggas used to go to the mall to bag a chick, mm-hmm. like the chick I liked was the fine girl in Johnny Rockets. Mm-hmm. So I used to try to come through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like and it's, every time I, every time I came through, like it was a thing too. I was young, so I didn't know how to get flies. So I was trying to look presentable and all that. Mm-hmm. And every time I would like go to Johnny Rockets, it would be time for her to get up and <laughs> and do the little dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was young, so I was trying. Kick it during the dance. <laughs> well, you killing that. <laughs> no, I was doing it with her like, <laughs> yeah. When you get off. Uh, <laughs> when you get off. When you get off. It's crazy oh. that you ended up spending the rest of your life in strip clubs. Set up. <laughs> See? And Johnny, here, from, and Johnny Rockets. From, yeah, from down here. Right here. You knew where he was headed. <laughs> It was he's one still, one he's still be trying ball. to kick it to chicks while they working. <laughs> <laughs> Chick shaking a margarita shit. Yo, what time you get off? Fam, fam, she making you know, drinks. You right know here, this man. bar closes at four. Yeah, like you know like, what time you know she what, get off. You man. know I have to count the tips. You know what time I get off. Oh, that's the worst when you dating the chick that work at the strip club. Oh my god. Now you gotta wait for her to count on the whole register. Five thirty before you pull off. Five thirty. Six thirty. Easy. And and she tired. Oh, yeah. she then you gotta wait till one p.m. <laughs> or, or. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have forty ounce vans tweets. <laughs> hey, 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 freaking bitch, come give me a kiss. Block is crazy. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with Tupac? That's why Pac is one of the greatest, man. No, Tupac is why. Because he'll go from that to, and if he don't love you, you should leave him. Like, what? Like, what are you talking about? You go from free, freaky or, bitch, come give me kids to, if he don't love you, you should, should leave him. him. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, man, Pac is the greatest. I'm done, man. I'm getting uh, the fuck I out I mean, is it Uchi Wally or is it one mic? Mm-hmm. You gotta ask. A great man asked that before. <laughs> the freaky ass JoJo. <laughs> Look at JoJo. It was either JoJo, JoJo. Or, or Danny Boy jo- used to get off on the Pac. Yeah, <laughs> why JoJo came in crooning like he was the nigga getting pussy in the group? What you mean? Yeah, wait, he of didn't get pussy? He was. All right. You don't think JoJo got any Come on man Fourth No Singing like that In the 90s He got pussy Come on man (laughs) JoJo ain't get pussy Before Dalvin Devontae Or Casey Not a a one They they wasn't on this song Not a I don't give a fuck (laughs) Dalvin ain't said a word His whole life And he still was getting pussy Before JoJo Devontae was getting pussy Before JoJo And we know KC got all Who was JoJo fucking all right, what about no just, the K- named- just the Casey and JoJo tour? JoJo was getting pussy. Oh, then pussy. he was getting pussy. <laughs> yeah, he was that- getting pussy on Jodeci tour, too. Don't do no that. way. He definitely was. Y'all are fucking crazy. <laughs> he definitely no was. Way. He definitely Dude, was. JoJo? Well, who'd he fuck? 
Somebody's a, somebody's <laughs> auntie. They're forty years and nobody. Somebody, knows who listen, we fuck. somebody that listens to this podcast, auntie was getting fucked by JoJo. None Definitely. of my aunts fuck JoJo. You don't know None that. Your aunts fuck JoJo. I don't know that. Rory aunts ain't fuck JoJo. <laughs> we don't know That's that. Okay. It could have been a hot summer night in me streets of Boston, <laughs> and JoJo felt like in some Irish box. <laughs> he might he might have fell in On some. Boston stuff. Yeah, yeah, like stop. he might have fell in some. I never know. Let me just see something. This, on, re- this, this record will tell it. See, KC sound like he was getting pussy back then. That's crazy. See, this is fake sad. This is just great singing. Oh, yeah, nigga. Get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, yes. You ain't got no bitches. You got him twisted. You know. Okay. Hold on. Let me hear him. You know how many people get pussy on tour that yeah. aren't even in the group? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> I actually have another theory that I'm not going to say. We got sleepers. <laughs> <laughs> we might. Um, Ma, why did Kevin Knox do that to Ben Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> Kevin Knox trying to get his shit off. But I'm, I'm. I don't think I don't think to do that. I don't think but Ben Simmons knew do- Kevin Knox could jump like that. <laughs> but why he did that to him? Hell, get out the way! I got after, business. After, I got business after, to attend to. After the Jason Tatum dunk. Now listen, I, but we end in the podcast. But I have a scathing hot take. Mm-hmm. Sure. I know we use that term a lot, but I have a scathing hot sports take that is gonna sound like the dumbest thing in the world. I already know. I haven't heard any of the analysts, the experts, say it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it. I know I'm going to sound nuts, but here it goes. You ready, Maul? I'm ready. I'm saying it specifically to you because you were the person that were, was adamant in Kevin Knox being a bus. Mm-hmm. Here's my hot take. Mm-hmm. I call me crazy. I, 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 I see a little... I see a little Kawhi. All right, all right. I know. I didn't say anything. I know. That sounds nuts, but just remember, this nigga's 19. Right. Some of the things he does just reminds me of, like, baby Kawhi. Okay. Mm. I didn't realize he was that young. Yeah, no, he's 19. Yeah. He's a baby. Yeah. So Maul could still be right. He could still be a bust, but at 19, and I we, hope can't, he doesn't, we, we can't say that I'm at 19. Saying, yeah, I, don't, no. I, don't, I don't. I don't. And from what we've seen from him from Summer League and that dunk, it don't look like it'd be a bust at 19. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not. I can't it's, say he's a bust. I, mean, I would never call somebody a bust in their first year, but but I don't looked, think he's gonna pan out to be what people think he may be. That's all. He looks tough, man. I think he's gonna be a, a good player. I don't think he's gonna be like an all star or nothing like that. Okay. That's good though. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. Good player. Yeah, whatever, man. Um, all right. I think that is everything. Nothing else that I need to ask, even though there was something else I wanted to ask, but I can't ask it. Because whatever else I wanted to ask was supposed to be real good. So let me just check. Uh, oh, yeah. No, this wasn't much to talk about. Uh this is off the Grammys and her killing the performance. Mm-hmm. I started going back to thinking about when she was so mad that every time she put something out, like him would mimic it. <laughs> like, and he that? would put. Did y'all, do y'all remember? Remember yeah, that? Of course, I we remember. were the main per, uh, perpetuators of that. Yeah. yeah, shout out to him. Where's him? Well, that's why I bring it up. He retired. <laughs> he, him stopped all that bullshit, didn't he? <laughs> him cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, him, him put it to bed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, good, good job. Jeff Robinson and, and, and them put that shit down. <laughs> <coughs> good, so, that was a good job though. Him, him. I'm glad put, him stopped. Him should put something. I fuck with him. I fuck with him too. But him didn't need to keep fucking with her. Yeah, <laughs> at all. Her nip that one in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> There's and never. Now, there will never be another him her argument. And now they is killing. Yeah. They has always been a good group, though. They is awesome. Yeah, that's my guys. Damn, man. now him Damn. is after. Shout out to Drew they. Dante. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What him gonna do when them come out? Mm. Them, them might body them. <laughs> <laughs> them gonna kill them. Yeah. All right, all right. I don't have nothing else. You guys have have any last words until we're back in front of the people in three days? <laughs> no. no. Oh, rest in peace. Let's send rest in peace and condolences yes. to the prom. Yes, for sure. Rest one, in peace. One hundred. One hundred percent. 
Um, prayers are with y'all. Yeah, pray, prayers and condolences to to his family, his loved ones, his friends. Uh, uh everybody with the same exact words. Just just how how great of a dude, how how much of a stand up guy Prime was, and and that's all you can ask for for afterwards. So again, rest in peace to Prime, and prayers to his loved ones. Uh, somebody else died. Last week, I meant to uh, say rest in peace to Christoph St. John, uh, the soap opera star that died. Uh, I want to say he was in The Guiding Light, but I'm I'm unsure because I stopped watching soaps a long time ago. But rest in peace to Christoph St. John uh, and Prime. Nobody else we are forgetting? I don't think so, no. And there you have it. We got through a whole episode without Outstanding. Oh, shit. Good for us. Not without... Mentioning Hov and Drake though, <laughs> <laughs> never. Still, still, still. I think this might be the first episode in forever that we didn't mention Royce though. That we didn't Royce? mention Royce. Yeah, you think really? so? Really? Yes, that's a fact. We've mentioned Royce that much every episode. No way. Huh. I disagree. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Okay. But not that we shouldn't. That I just disagree. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're on tour right now. <laughs> so, I mean, there you go. Yeah, if you're in Australia, check with, them with, out. Uh, with West Side Boogie. Yeah. Good for Boog getting out there. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, Great the, album. Go right to Australia. I like I like the move. Yeah. Yeah, hit the road. Yeah, get out there, bro. All right, until next time. Uh, see you niggas later. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until then, I bid you adieu. Peace, goddammit. <laughs>